Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Gawu. Treasure chests everywhere, SS's holy body at the beginning. Chapter 1. After investigation by the school, the 22nd placed student Yi Feng's record in the Sea Beast battle was stolen from others, and his results are invalid. Secondly, when the battle was going on, he refused to obey the arrangements and caused trouble, causing himself to be injured and almost injuring others. Such a bad record is a disgrace to our school. The school leaders unanimously voted to expel Yi Feng as a student and expel him from the college. Lin Hai City No. 1 Middle School Martial Arts Academy The loud broadcast sound spread throughout the school, causing an uproar. Most of the people who didn't know about it yelled at Yi Feng, thinking that this kind of behavior was really despicable. Only a few people who are usually close to Yi Feng and know Yi Feng better as a person have doubts and don't quite believe in this result. But whether they believe it or not is completely unimportant and has no impact. Okay, okay, there is no justice, right? I, Yi Feng, swear that all the injustices done today will be settled with you ten times and a hundred times in the future. Yi Feng, who had just left the principal's office, had his fists clenched and his face full of anger. Ten days ago, the sea area south of Linhai City was shaken. The secret passage under the sea expanded again, and a large number of strange beasts emerged from the secret realm. Sea beasts came ashore in large numbers, posing a major threat to coastal cities and surrounding villages and towns. Warriors from all walks of life gathered on the coastline to resist attacks by sea beasts. Lin Hai City No. 1 Middle School, as well as other martial arts academies, cannot sit idly by and organize a large number of teachers and students to fight against the sea beasts. If the students are not strong enough, they will sit in the rear and attack the soldiers and generals missed on the front line. After many efforts, the sea monster was finally repelled and a major disaster was avoided. In this battle, students who perform well will be rewarded with credits based on the number and strength of the sea beasts they kill. If you rank in the top three, you can even get a place for admission to Longtang Academy. It was the top martial arts university in Lingnan province, and all the students wanted to get in. If they pass the college entrance examination, even if no. One middle school is a key high school, only a few people can be admitted to Longtang Academy. Such a recommended quota is extremely precious. For Yi Feng, there is a more important point. He was injured in this sea beast battle. Unfortunately, his martial arts foundation was damaged and it was difficult to treat with conventional means. If you can be recommended to Longtang Academy, where there are many powerful people and wider resources, you can hope to heal your damaged foundation. But now, it's gone, everything is gone. I killed 105 soldier level sea beasts, and even jumped up the ranks to kill a wounded soldier level sea beast. I ended up with a damaged foundation in martial arts. This is the result of hard work. With this result, I am ranked first. But you actually exchanged my results with those of Zhao Ming, who ranked 22nd. I became number 22, but he became no. 1. Now, they are expelling me from the school. Years of hard work and hard work have been directly destroyed in one day. Yi Feng clenched his nails so hard that they turned white and dug into his flesh without even realizing it. His back molars were almost crushed. At first, I thought the school had made a mistake and asked the principal for feedback. But he didn't expect that the principal, Zhao Donghai, turned out to be Zhao Ming's uncle. When Yi Feng learned the news, he understood everything. In Zhao Donghai's view, Yi Feng was born in a poor family, but through hard work, he was among the best. He was a good prospect. It's a pity that the foundation of martial arts is now damaged, and half of the future is ruined. In addition, the three recommended places issued by Longtang Academy are extremely precious. Rather than taking advantage of a semi-invalid person, it is better to give it to my nephew Zhao Ming. Otherwise, with Zhao Ming's strength, he would not be able to pass the normal college entrance examination and be admitted to Longtang University. Originally, he just exchanged the results. If Yi Feng honestly accepted his fate, it would be fine. However, Yi Feng has no way out, and is even more unwilling to endure injustice, and has the potential to go to the Education Bureau. Instead of being frightened, Zhao Donghai intensified his actions. As soon as Yi Feng walked away, he issued an order on the back. Just put Yi Feng in a shit basin, steal the results of the battle, disobey the arrangements, cause trouble, and be directly expelled from the college. There is also the beginning of the broadcast. 
This move is very vicious. With such a label, even if Yi Feng wants to join other colleges, they will not dare to accept him. Problem students are naturally not welcome. What? You said you were wrong. Then we don't know. This is what our school has found. Unless you have evidence to prove your innocence, we don't dare to take the risk of admitting you. In this way, Yi Feng's path to further education was blocked. For the people at the bottom, entering martial arts through school is almost their only way out. Yi Feng walked out of the school gate and looked back at the school fiercely. This account will one day be settled with them ten times or a hundred times. Principal's Office Zhao Donghai looked at the surveillance screen casually and happened to see Yi Feng looking back at the school gate. Tisk, you're such an idiot, you want to threaten me with the Education Bureau. If you really sue me, I have to thank you for giving me the opportunity to catch up with old friends I haven't seen for many years. Zhao Donghai sneered, his tone extremely disdainful. Regarding Yi Feng, he didn't take it to heart at all. He was just a student with no background. His martial arts foundation was damaged. It would be difficult to break through in the future, and he might even regress. Even the strength of the peak martial arts disciple could not be maintained. What can be done to him? In today's world, strength is everything. Without strength, you are nothing. Yi Feng left the school with a confused expression. Although he made up his mind and vowed to become stronger and seek revenge on Zhao Donghai, hatred and determination alone were useless. What faced the reality was a deep sense of powerlessness. Where to go next? Bite. The treasure chest opening fun system is successfully bound. Introduction. There will be countless treasure chests that will appear randomly throughout the world. Go to the location of the treasure chest and you will be able to unlock treasures, including but not limited to martial arts, magical weapons, panaceas, spiritual insights, and natural physiques. Wait. Everything that exists in the world has a chance to be released. The higher the quality of the treasure chest, the greater the chance of finding a treasure. Quality is distinguished by color. White, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, gold, and color. Treasure box clue. At the fourth intersection of Nanming Street, a colorful treasure box appears. Please go and open it. The sudden reminder made Yi Feng extremely excited. Could this be, my golden finger? Yi Feng is actually a time traveler. He was born in this world in the form of a baby 18 years ago. There are also certain technologies here, such as monitors, tactical watches. These are all technological products, but they mainly follow the path of martial arts. Only martial arts can allow mankind to gain a foothold. Hundreds of years ago, space trembled, and many space cracks appeared, eventually forming passages one after another. Countless mysterious beasts emerged from them, causing harm to the world and devouring all life. In order to resist the alien beasts, human beings embarked on the road of martial arts, cultivated extraordinary strength, fought against them, and protected their homes and countries. Later, it was also discovered that humans can enter through the passage and reach the secret world. The secret realm is very dangerous. Without certain strength, there will be no life or death. The advantage is that you can get many treasures from it, which is very helpful for improving your strength. At this point, martial arts has ushered in an explosive period. Hundreds of years have passed, and human beings are as strong as clouds. However, there are also many strange beasts in the secret realm that are terrifyingly powerful, possessing terrifying combat power that can destroy an entire city with one beast. If mankind wants to continue to survive, Countless descendants must follow suit and embark on the path of martial arts. Strength is extremely important in this world. Yi Feng understands this truth. Over the years, even without the so-called golden finger, he has entered no. One middle school through his own efforts and is one of the best among the students. But he didn't expect that he had fought so hard that his martial arts foundation had been damaged, and that the results he had earned so hard would be lost. They are like raccoons, and they have no way to complain. They may even beat them up, get an additional penalty, and be expelled from the college. If it develops normally, Yi Feng is indeed a little desperate and it will be difficult to turn around. Fortunately, God couldn't stand it any longer, so he was finally willing to give himself a golden finger. Judging from the introduction, it is very good. The gameplay is simple. Just get a hint that there is a treasure chest in a certain place, then go there and open it to get various treasures. 
It also provides a very considerate path guide, just like when playing games before, a line of arrow cursors appears on the ground, just follow the arrows. The highest quality treasure chests are colored ones. Unexpectedly, the first person to win directly was given a colored treasure chest, which was equivalent to a gift pack for novices. I wonder what treasures can be found. Yi Feng was full of expectations. Nanming Street is not far away, just next door. Yi Feng followed the arrow and quickly arrived at the destination. At the fourth intersection, there is indeed a treasure chest, quietly placed on the ground, always emitting colorful mysterious light. This is a public area, and people pass by from time to time. There was even a passerby who stepped on the treasure chest. No, it should be said that just stepping on the treasure chest, that foot went directly through the mold. The passerby's demeanor didn't change at all, and he quickly left. It can be concluded that the treasure chest can only be seen by Yi Feng, and in the eyes of others, there is no treasure chest at all. It's better this way, as you don't have to worry about others competing for it. Yi Feng trotted over. When the foot touches the treasure chest, a prompt pops up. Do you want to open the treasure chest? Yes, Yi Feng did not hesitate and answered in his heart. Snap, the treasure chest opened automatically, the light surged, and a ball of mysterious energy appeared in front of Yi Feng's eyes. You open a colorful treasure box, and with great luck, you get an SSS level physique, the holy body of martial arts. Martial Arts Saint Body SSS After fusion, your physique will be transformed and become a Martial Arts Saint Body. You will practice martial arts for a thousand miles and become a top martial arts genius. The use of chi and blood will be more efficient. Do you want to merge immediately? SSS Level Physique Yi Feng's breathing became rapid. It's not unusual to have a physical constitution. There are all kinds of different constitutions, and they can bring various effects. However, there are good and bad physiques, and they are divided into grades, from high to low, SSS, SS, S, A, B, C, D, E, F. Those with lower levels are basically dispensable and will not bring much effect. Even some weird physiques may not necessarily bring negative effects. If the rating can reach C level or above, it is basically good. If you reach level A, you can be called a genius. As for the above, let alone it. SSS level is the top level, one in a billion, truly rare. When you say a genius, you will think you are scolding him, you have to at least call him a monster. It is indeed a colorful treasure chest, and it can also open SSS level physiques. A top level treasure chest can open top level treasures. At the same time, it was also confirmed that the treasure chest can indeed open anything. Physique and talent are all innate and cannot be acquired. Although there have been cases like this, the physique was awakened only after reaching a certain age. But that kind of situation is not a result of being born the day after tomorrow, but it is a physical constitution that was originally there, but due to various reasons, it did not show up early, and it was not until a chance coincidence that it was awakened. In short, after this incident, it was confirmed that the function of the treasure box is extremely powerful. Yi Feng looked around and saw that no one was nearby. Merge. The mysterious energy flew towards Yi Feng and merged into Yi Feng's body. Boom. The huge energy is transforming every part of the body. I thought the process would be painful, but unexpectedly it was very comfortable. When the stay is over, the whole body feels extremely relaxed and comfortable. Vigorous chi and blood flow in the body, bringing an overwhelming sense of power. My strength, and my injuries. Yi Feng felt it, and surprise appeared on his face. I've reached the martial arts realm. Yi Feng suddenly clenched his fist, extremely happy. After transforming into the holy body of martial arts, not only the damaged foundation was completely restored, but the strength also improved to a higher level, breaking through from the peak of a martial artist to the early stage of a martial artist. Warriors practice qi and blood. The stronger the qi and blood, the higher the strength. Realm divisions. Martial disciple, martial master, military general, Martial King, Martial Ancestor, Martial Master, Martial Emperor, Martial Saint, and Martial God. There are a total of nine major realms, and each major realm is also subdivided into four small stages, Early Stage, Middle Stage, Late Stage, and Peak. As for the strength of alien beasts, they are also divided into nine realms, corresponding to warriors. They are, Soldier Level, Sergeant Level, General Level, 
king level, lord, honorable level, emperor level, holy level, and god level. Previously, when he attacked the injured soldier level C beast, he was seriously injured and his martial arts foundation was damaged. And if we fight with our current strength, we can easily kill him. This is the difference in strength between the front and back. Zhao Ming, Zhao Donghai, there are other people who wantonly take advantage of me. You didn't expect that I would be where I am today. You all just wait for me, I will settle the score with you soon. Yi Feng looked in the direction of Yi Zhang and said with a cold tone. However, the current strength is not enough and needs to be improved. Otherwise, any teacher would be no worse than me. Not to mention, it is rumored that the principal, Zhao Donghai, is a strong military commander. Can't beat it yet. Ouch, it stinks. Yi Feng found that there was a layer of black dirt on his skin, which exuded a foul odor, as if he hadn't showered in a year. It should be the impurities expelled from the body during the physical transformation just now. Yi Feng hurried home. Yi Feng's home is in an old community, about a few dozen square meters, not too big, and enough for one person to live in. After taking a bath, I finally felt refreshed. I don't know if it was due to his physical transformation, but Yi Feng felt extremely hungry, and he emptied all the food stored at home before eating until he was 80% full. The appetite is actually more than five times the usual amount. After eating a full meal, I leaned on the old sofa with a few holes in it, leaning on it in an inconspicuous manner. I happened to see a black and white photo hanging on the wall opposite, of a man and a woman, both middle-aged. The man is somewhat similar to Yi Feng, and the woman looks dignified and looks virtuous at first glance. They are Yi Feng's deceased parents. They died in a beast wave and their bodies could not be recovered. It was also at that time that Yi Feng truly felt the cold cruelty of this world, and realized that without strength, he was not qualified to protect himself or his family. From that moment on, Yi Feng vowed to become a warrior and do everything possible to become stronger, in order to protect himself, but also to kill more exotic beasts and comfort his parents' spirits in heaven. When faced with the sea beasts coming ashore, massacring thousands of civilians, mutilating limbs and arms, and littering the fields with corpses, Yi Feng felt as if he was in the beast tide three years ago and saw the scene of his parents being torn apart and swallowed by the alien beasts. That's why Yi Feng was so desperate when killing the sea beast. Treasure Box Clue 1 At the seventh intersection of Qingxi Road, a white treasure box appears. Please go and open it. Treasure Box Clue 2 him in grocery store, a yellow treasure box appears, please go and open it. Two sudden reminders interrupted Yi Feng's thoughts. There are new treasure chests appearing, and there are still two of them. One white and one yellow. Yi Feng was not surprised. The first one to have a colorful treasure box appeared, which was regarded as a gift package for newbies, and he was given the most advanced one. Let's return to normal now. According to probability, the higher the level of treasure chests, the lower the probability of appearing. It is reasonable to pick up low-level treasure chests now. However, with the development in the future, there will definitely be better treasure chests. It would be really cool if you pick up colorful treasure chests everywhere one day. Yi Feng looked carefully at the locations of the two treasure chests. The seventh intersection of Qingxi Road, Himen Grocery Store. They are all places that I am very familiar with. To go to him in grocery store, you need to pass Qingxi Road. Just in time, the treasure chest was opened together. It is worth mentioning that this him in grocery store is where Yi Feng usually does odd jobs. Let's go. Open the treasure chest. There are also arrows to guide you, just follow them. There are two lines of cursors for two treasure chests. One is white, pointing to the white treasure box, and the other is yellow, pointing to the yellow treasure box. Follow the arrow and arrive at the seventh intersection of Qingxi Road. A white treasure box is quietly placed there. The old rule is that as long as the body touches the treasure chest, no matter where it is touched, a prompt will be triggered. Do you want to open the treasure chest? Snap. After opening the white treasure chest, what came out was a ball of red energy. You opened a white treasure box, congratulations on getting 200 cards of energy and blood. The red energy soared and merged into Yi Feng's body. Yi Feng clearly felt that the energy and blood in his body suddenly rose. It's just like what you have accumulated through practice. As mentioned before, warriors practice qi and blood. The thicker the qi and blood, the stronger the strength. 
qi and blood are measured in units of ka. According to normal practice, these 200 calories of energy and blood require practice for a long time. But now, simply open a treasure chest, which is still the lowest level white treasure chest. Without any obstacles, you can get 200 cards of energy and blood for free. At the early stage of breaking through to martial arts, the energy and blood were exactly 3,000 calories. Now adding these 200 calories, it becomes 3,200 calories. Just add another 800 to reach 4,000 calories of blood, and you can be promoted to the middle stage of martial arts. It doesn't feel difficult to achieve. It is also worth mentioning that Yi Feng also has a talent called, Wind Whisperer, which he was born with. Wind Whisperer is an A-level talent that makes Yi Feng more sensitive to the wind element. If you practice wind martial arts, you will have more advantages. Unfortunately, elemental martial arts are relatively rare and Yi Feng cannot obtain them for the time being. It is precisely because of his A-level talent and his hard work that he can be among the best in school. I hope that in the future, I will have the opportunity to acquire a good martial arts skill. The martial arts Yi Feng learned at this time was the first level, crossing knife technique, taught by the school. It is a relatively popular product, quite satisfactory, and can be used as a martial artist, but at the martial master level, it is definitely not worth it. There is also a yellow treasure chest, I hope I can find something good. Yi Feng moved on. He didn't even need to look at the yellow arrow to know where to go. After all, it was a place he often went. The journey is not far, and you will soon reach him in grocery store. Uncle He, Yi Feng walked into the store and shouted to the store owner sitting there. The owner's full name is, He Wang, and he is in his fifties. If he is a warrior, he is still strong at this age. But not everyone has martial arts qualifications, like He Wang, who doesn't. In addition, his family was poor when he was a child, so he couldn't learn martial arts at all. He has always been an ordinary person, running this grocery store, selling daily groceries to make a living. Once when I was on the way to purchase goods, I even injured my leg. I suffered from leg problems. My right leg had little strength and I walked with a limp. Years of fatigue have also left him with a few more grays on his temples, making him look older than his actual age. In Yi Feng's spare time, he would work part-time here to earn some living expenses. For things like purchasing goods and delivering goods, Yi Feng is mainly there to help. Otherwise, He Wang would have difficulty doing this because of his inconvenient legs and feet, which is why he hired Yi Feng. Xiao Feng, you're here just in time. This batch of goods was ordered by Lao Li. Please help me deliver it when you have time. He Wang pointed to a pile of daily necessities beside him and said with a smile to Yi Feng. Okay, I'll send it to you in a moment. Yi Feng said and walked inside. He Wang didn't care and was busy counting the bills on hand. Yi Feng had been working here for a long time and was no longer an outsider. Tisk, the location of the yellow treasure chest is in the toilet. Yi Feng followed the arrow and walked into the toilet just like the toilet. Sure enough, I saw a yellow treasure box placed in the middle. Yi Feng walked over and opened the treasure box. You opened a yellow treasure box, congratulations on getting, the second level wind type martial skill, wind cutting sword technique, perfect realization. Ha, you can really get whatever you want. Just now I was thinking that the ribbing knife technique was too bad and I wanted a better martial art. Also, having the talent of being a wind whisperer, practicing wind martial arts will give you a huge advantage. Unexpectedly, he would give himself a wind martial skill now, and it would be of the second level. The point is, this is not a cheat sheet. If it is a secret book, you still need to practice it yourself to learn it bit by bit. Practicing a second level wind martial skill is not simple, and it takes a long time. What is being taught now is the realization of martial arts, directly reaching perfection. Merge. Yi Feng couldn't wait and integrated his feelings. Boom. Countless insights about the wind destroying sword technique merged into Yi Feng's mind, just like the insights he gained after practicing the wind destroying sword technique over time. Until all the fusion was completed, Yi Feng directly mastered the perfect wind cutting sword technique. Kung Fu and martial arts are divided into levels, from level 1 to level 9. The higher the level, the more difficult it is to practice, and it requires stronger strength to learn it. Take the second level as an example, 
it is the martial arts of a martial artist, which is just right for the current Yi Fang. According to the level of proficiency, it is divided into entry level, minor level, full level, and perfect level. Yi Fang put his two fingers together to point to the knife and made a few random gestures. The wind element was spitting at the fingertips, looking extremely sharp, and the movements were smooth and fluid. At this moment, the fingers seemed to have become sharp blades. If it is performed with a sword, it will be able to exert extremely strong combat power. Not bad, not bad. Yi Feng is very satisfied with this wind cutting sword technique. Treasure box clue. Lin Hai City 10th High School. A yellow treasure box appears. Please go and open it. Yi Feng smiled. This treasure chest is really endless. Just after opening this one, another one came. Moreover, it is a yellow treasure chest, and the things that can be found in it are very useful to the current Yi Feng. For example, the wind cutting sword technique that was just released is very good. 10th high school, isn't that he Zilling school? Just at this time, dad, I'm back. A clear female voice came faintly from outside. Yi Feng was familiar with this voice. It was He Zilling, the only daughter of Mr. He Wang. Yi Feng walked out. I saw outside, standing sideways, a young girl of 17 or 18 years old with a slim figure. With long black waterfall-like hair tied up high with a hair rope, and a suit of light combat armor, the whole person looks fresh and capable. Anyone who looks at the exquisite side face will be amazed by the beauty. Hearing the noise, He Zilling turned to look at Yi Feng. The other half of her face was then exposed to Yi Feng's sight, and a finger-long scar became the only focus on the right side of her face. If you are not familiar with it, you will secretly add a comment of, what a pity. This was Yi Feng's psychological journey when he first met He Zilling. Yi Feng once thought that Xu Shishan was jealous of beauty, which gave her a face that would make a country beautiful, and added another scar to her. Later, when they got to know each other, He Zilling talked about this scar, and then he learned about that past. It was actually, she took the initiative to cut it with a dagger. There was once a dandy who coveted He Zilling's beauty and harassed her frequently, forcing He Zilling to obey him. He Zilling didn't want to give in, but the other party had a lot of background and background. On the other hand, He Zilling has no strength, no background, and an old father with handicapped legs at home. It once posed a great threat to myself and my family. When the situation was about to get out of control, He Zilling made a shocking move. He actually held a dagger and cut a long wound on his right face in front of the playboy. Because of this, such a scar was left. It takes so much courage and determination to disfigure yourself with your own hands, especially when you are a beauty. It also shows that she is really desperate. Since then, the playboy has indeed not appeared again, maybe he is looking for the next beauty. But he Zilling left a permanent scar. But, who cares? Yi Feng, are you there too? He Zilling smiled at Yi Feng. If it weren't for that ferocious scar, it would be like a hundred flowers blooming. It's hard to imagine that after experiencing something like this, her character could still remain cheerful. Maybe she is tough by nature, or maybe she knows there is no use in feeling sorry for herself. Yeah, I just came here too. Yi Feng replied with a smile. The college entrance examination will be in three days. Maybe we will meet in the examination room again. I won't let it slip by then. He Zilling said half jokingly. While speaking, he habitually lifts the loose ends of hair on the right side of his face and tucks them behind his ears. Doing this without hesitation will make the scar more conspicuous. That was her trauma, and it was a gold medal for immunity from death for her who was weak at the time. Even now, it can save her from too much harassment and allow her to focus more on practicing martial arts. Strength is the foundation of everything. Even though she studied at the 10th Martial Arts High School, a bottom-ranked school, and even though she had no talent, she cultivated to the peak of martial arts through hard work. Compared with those key high schools, the strength is comparable. Only she herself knows the hard work put into it. Ah, Yi Feng was speechless for a moment. What happened? He Zilling asked. Yes, Yi Feng nodded, not intending to hide it, I was fired. Yi Feng briefly explained the whole story to He Zilling. I didn't mention the damage to my martial arts foundation, otherwise it wouldn't make sense if it suddenly got better. I only focused on the matter of having my results dropped. He Zilling had no reaction yet, 
but he Wang next to him became angry, this is unreasonable. How could they do this? After all, Lin Hai number. One middle school, a prestigious key high school, actually did such a thing. Uncle He, don't be angry, this matter is not over yet, I will settle the score with them. Yi Feng comforted He Wang's mood. Then what are you going to do next? Or join our school? Anyway, with your ability, you will shine wherever you go. You have a student status. This can be used as a springboard to qualify you to take the college entrance examination. He Ziling did not show anger and made suggestions calmly. Her past experiences taught her that anger is useless, only fists are useful. Encountered injustice. Okay, then use your fists to get it back. But you also know the reason for my expulsion. We know it is slander, but your school doesn't think so. They won't accept me, right? Yi Feng frowned. There are two benefits to joining the 10th Martial Arts High School. First, with student status, you can walk freely in the academy and find the yellow treasure box just prompted. Otherwise, if outsiders break in at will, the consequences will be serious once they are discovered. If they are charged with, intending to steal martial arts resources, they will really be unable to defend themselves. Secondly, Yi Feng really wanted to take the college entrance examination. Even if it is for nothing else, just to disrupt the situation of no. One middle school and mess with those who did not deal with it before, it is enough to make the ranking of no. One middle school drop a lot. The ranking of a school represents its reputation and determines how much resource subsidies it can receive and how much commercial sponsorship it can attract. All in all, it has a great influence. No one cares more about the school's ranking than the head of the school. As long as there is a chance to engage in Zhao Donghai, Yi Feng will be very happy to do so. He will collect some interest first. Secondly, it is also for the opportunity to enter Longtang University. After switching due to grades, Zhao Ming got the recommended spot that should have belonged to Yi Feng. After being recommended, Zhao Ming can enter Longtang University without taking the college entrance examination. Yi Feng's grades are not that easy to get. No matter how much you eat, you have to spit it out. When entering Longtang University, you have to get Zhao Ming, otherwise it will be too easy for him. For various reasons, it was indeed necessary for Yi Feng to join the 10th Martial Arts High School. Leave this matter to me, you wait for my news tomorrow. He Ziling said after thinking for a while. Yi Feng nodded, I'll trouble you then. It's nothing. He Ziling waved his hand and said nonchalantly. The next day, He Ziling came to know. 10 high school and went directly to the principal. For admission matters, you usually have to contact the admissions office, but they certainly don't dare to make the final decision and will eventually have to ask the principal. So, just talk to the principal directly. Classmate He Ziling, what do you want to see me for? The principal of No. 10 Middle School, Lu Tai, was deeply impressed by this student who practiced hard and had top grades, and he cherished such students very much. Schools like theirs, which are ranked at the bottom, have relatively few top students, and sometimes they manage to get one, but they still transfer to key high schools. There may be a mentality of, people go to higher places, or it may be that other schools are secretly promising some benefits and are poaching here. But for this kind of thing, if you can't get a handle on it, you can't say anything. You can't forcefully tie up students and prevent them from leaving. If word spreads, no one will dare to come to school. Principal, I do have a request, and it is this. He Ziling explained the matter. The reason for expulsion was also stated directly. They can find out about this kind of thing, and they will definitely check it out. If it is concealed, it will have the opposite effect. Lu Tai frowned slightly and did not respond immediately, thinking about the pros and cons. After a while, he said aloud. Normally, I wouldn't take the risk and admit a problem student. But if you can guarantee that this friend of yours was actually wronged, I can believe you for once. It's just that outsiders don't think so. They just think that my no. 10 high school is really rubbish and accepts everyone. This ruins its reputation. Principal, He Ziling wanted to speak and tried his best. But Lu Tai waved his hand and interrupted. He sighed and laughed at himself. It doesn't matter, I'm at the bottom every year anyway, and I don't have much good reputation left. Let others talk about whatever they like. The principal means you agree. He Ziling said happily, it went more smoothly than she imagined. Well, 
you contact him and come over to go through the enrollment procedures. Lu Tai smiled lightly. It was for Hezilling Sake that he agreed so easily. If it were any other student, he might not agree. Thank you, Principal. I will definitely work harder to bring glory to the school in this college entrance examination. He Zilling thanked him. Ha ha, that's naturally better, but just try your best and don't put too much pressure on it. Lu Tai laughed. In his opinion, it would be really good if He Zilling could get outstanding results. And if you fail the test, there is nothing hard to accept. Anyway, a few people alone cannot change anything, and the ranking will definitely remain at the bottom. He is already used to it. He Zilling said goodbye and left the principal's office. Immediately press the tactical watch on your wrist. The tactical watch has multiple functions. It is equivalent to a microcomputer and can check various information at any time. If a fight occurs, you can also record the battle video. Its camera is very unique. Even if the arm is moving, it can lock the forward perspective and keep the video recording stable. Communication is naturally one of its functions. As he zilling operated, a small light curtain emerged from above the tactical watch, displaying the communication list. Find Yi Fang's line and click to dial. On Yi Fang's side, almost instantly, Yi Fang's handsome face appeared on the light screen. It's done, you can come over and go through the admission procedures. He Zilling said, looking at the light screen intently, Hey! Are you already outside the school? The scene behind Yi Feng was obviously outside the school that she was familiar with. Well, I came here early. Yi Feng said, Do you really believe that I can do it? He Zilling raised her eyebrows. That's necessary. There's nothing you can't do. Yi Feng said with a smile. This is not to flatter her, this girl has a strong resilience and will never give up as long as she doesn't achieve her goal. Well, I like to hear that. He Zilling raised her proud head. The two chatted and walked, and soon met at the school gate. After hanging up the phone, under the leadership of He Zilling, the admission procedures were successfully completed. You still have to go through the necessary procedures. You can report to class first, and then you can do whatever you want. He Zilling said. Okay, Yi Feng nodded and said goodbye to He Zilling. He glanced at the yellow arrow on the ground that only he could see. Go check in first, and then open the treasure chest. Only you can open the treasure chest, and you don't have to worry about being robbed. Walking to class 15, grade 3, this is the class Yi Feng was assigned to. Before I even got close to the classroom, I felt like I was in a vegetable market, extremely noisy. Martial arts teacher, Duan Chuan, explained, the efficient use of qi and blood, on the podium. Yi Feng was slightly startled when he heard this topic. The college entrance examination is coming up in two days. Are you still explaining this stuff? This part of the content is from the second unit, and Yi Feng has learned it long ago. It wasn't until I walked into the classroom that I understood why. The students were doing their own thing, but few were listening carefully. The teacher was also busy explaining, as if he was used to the situation of no one listening. In this case, it would be strange if the course is completely taught. Teacher, I am a new student. I am here to report. Yi Feng said to Duan Chuan. Well, just find a seat and sit wherever you like. Duan Chuan didn't have much expression on his face. After he finished speaking, he muttered in a low voice, Sure enough, all the bad students are trying to get me here. He had received the notice a long time ago and knew exactly where Yi Feng was coming from. And the class 15 he teaches is the worst class in the 10th middle school. According to the school's thinking, rather than letting the garbage students spread out and affect others, it would be better to cram them all into one class. The school doesn't have high requirements for Duan Chuan. There are no performance requirements at all. It just needs to take care of these bad guys and don't cause too much trouble. In view of Yi Feng's reason for dropping out of school, it was completely within his expectation that he would be assigned here. Teacher, can I move freely? Yi Feng asked. He had already finished learning this lesson, and there was no point in listening to it anymore. He couldn't wait to open the treasure box. Whatever you want, Duan Chuan said nonchalantly. After receiving the consent, Yi Feng turned and left the classroom. As expected, he is a poor student. He doesn't even listen to the lessons and doesn't even want to stay in the classroom. Duan Chuan shook his head like a rattle. Several tall and sturdy students below glanced at each other. 
Without even saying hello, he got up and left the classroom. Duan Chuan ignored it, but shook his head faster. Several tall and strong students looked around after leaving the classroom. There, hurry, catch up, several people stepped forward quickly, and after a while, they caught up with Yi Feng in front, and surrounded Yi Feng in the middle. You transferred here at this time. You were expelled, right? Which school did you come from? And what's the reason? Several people asked several questions in succession. Yi Feng raised his eyebrows, looked around at the people, and said calmly, this doesn't seem to have anything to do with you, does it? It doesn't matter whether there is a relationship or not. If we ask, you have to say, understand. This is the rule. Also, newcomers, you have to treat us to a good meal. For example, the meat of exotic animals is quite good. I haven't eaten it in a long time. The dark-skinned young man at the head raised his chin slightly and spoke in a commanding tone. I'm only going to say it once, don't bother me, get out of here now. Yi Feng's voice was not loud, but it contained an undeniable and sharp look, like a ferocious beast. When I was in no. 1 middle school, I had many opponents. After all, the school had limited resources and could not take care of every student. Many times, you need to compete with your fists to get a resource. Fighting often happens in daily life. As long as the quarrel is not too serious, the school will not stop it, but will encourage it. Practicing martial arts is not like growing flowers in a greenhouse. What you will face in the future are ferocious and brutal beasts. If you don't pay attention, you won't be able to find the body. Normally, this little bit of slapstick is nothing. For Yi Feng, this scene is just like playing house. What's more, these people on the opposite side are only in the middle stage of martial arts. On the other hand, Yi Feng, who is in the early stage of martial arts, can be their teacher. HMPH. Boy, it seems you have to suffer a little before you know what to do. As soon as the words fell, several people immediately took action, hitting Yi Feng's body with several fists. Ha, this is what you asked for. The corner of Yi Feng's mouth curled into a sarcastic arc. Boom, the huge amount of energy and blood circulated in the body, and both fists came out, punching several times in an instant. The speed is extremely fast, but the strength is not bad. Every punch is like a cannon popping out of the barrel, accurately colliding with the fists thrown by those people. Bang 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 bang. There were several dull crashes, mixed with the clearly audible sound of bones breaking. Ah, several screams joined together, and several figures were like kites with broken strings, flying upside down in their respective directions, and finally crashed to the ground. They were in the same posture, covering their right hands, with painful expressions, and their bodies curled up like shrimps. You don't need to check to know that the collision just now broke the bones in their right hands in several places, causing heartbreaking pain. After they recovered a little, they got up from the ground with difficulty. Yi Feng was no longer around. Their expressions were filled with surprise and uncertainty. Why is this new student so strong? They didn't know yet that Yi Feng had already reduced his strength, Otherwise, it would be more than just a broken bone. First, let's go to the infirmary for treatment. Several people were sweating profusely, covering their right hands, and headed towards the infirmary. Hey, we just went out for a while, why are you all like this? Get out of class had just ended, and all the students in class 15 were gloating and laughing when they saw the miserable appearance of several people. The few people said nothing their footsteps became more and more hasty, and they quickly left. They don't dare to say it clearly. If several people can't beat one person, where can they put their face? Could it be the freshman who hit me? Someone speculated. It's possible that a few guys obviously followed the freshman, and now they suddenly do this. It's just a coincidence. You will be assigned to our class 15. How strong can you be? Do you think everyone is he's illing? That's right. He should be beaten if he offends a master from the key class. Groups of students gathered together to discuss. Yi Feng just finished beating someone and left there. Follow the guidance of the yellow arrow and arrive at a tall building to the west of the school. There are three characters on the plaque above, chemistry building. This kind of place is used to test the strength of students, and every school will have it. Yi Feng followed the yellow arrow and walked into the building. There were some students inside, either in twos or threes, or alone. Yi Feng's arrival did not attract anyone's attention. 
They are all busy testing themselves, so that they have a clear understanding of their own strength and how to perform in the examination room, so that they can feel confident. In front of Yi Feng, there is a door, and in the middle of the door, there is a digital display screen. The yellow arrow leads to door number 3. The treasure chest is inside. However, the digital display screen on the door is displaying data at this time. Strength. 1950 pounds. Speed. The speed item is not displayed yet, it may be under testing. Just when I thought this, the speed also showed up. Speed. 52 meters per second. Soon the door opened, and a late-stage martial arts student with a mole on the corner of his mouth walked out. It seems that if you practice martial arts well, you can increase your strength greatly. Originally, I only had 1,600 pounds of blood, so I could only produce a basic strength of 1,600 kilograms. But after using my martial arts, I could produce 1,000 kilograms. More than 900, which is not much different from the basic strength of a peak martial artist. He muttered something vaguely, with an excited look on his face. He didn't pay much attention to Yi Feng waiting outside. Sometimes this happens when there are too many people testing and the testing points are not enough. After the black mole student walked away, Yi Feng quickly walked in. The door closes automatically. The first thing that catches the eye is a small interior. The furnishings are relatively simple with a machine placed next to it and a weapons rack with one of each of 18 types of weapons for people to test and use when performing martial arts. Let's talk about the machine first. There is a boxing target in the middle and a display screen above. This kind of machine is made of special materials and is very strong. It is used to test the strength of warriors. However, this is relatively elementary and can be tested to the peak of martial arts masters. If it is stronger, it will destroy the machine. In a high school, it is enough. Under the machine, there are also thoughtful introductions to the rules. Attack the boxing target to test your strength. After it is over, the next door will be opened and you will enter the entrance to test your speed. In that case, let's test it. Yi Feng was eager to give it a try. I also want to know how much power I can exert with my current strength and the wind cutting sword technique. Yi Feng went to the nearby weapons rack and took out a long knife. It was an ordinary alloy sword without an edge. Come to the front of the boxing target, adjust your breathing, sink your legs slightly, retract your right hand, and get into a posture. Suddenly, there was no wind at the corner of his clothes. The surrounding airflow was clearly perceived by Yi Feng. Drink, qi and blood are mobilized, gathered in the right hand, and the power is injected into the long knife in the right hand. The perfect execution of the wind-cutting sword technique, Wind elements wrapped around the blade, a sharp and fast sword, suddenly slashed out, accurately hitting the target in front. Bang! The boxing target made of special material suddenly sank deeply, and the values on the digital display above jumped wildly. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, it wasn't until the boxing target rebounded that the value stabilized, finally settling on 4,510 pounds. This value has far exceeded Yi Feng's expectations. According to one card of energy and blood, one pound of strength can be converted. Now the energy and blood is 3,200 calories, and the basic strength is 3,200 pounds. When the qi and blood reaches more than 4,000 calories, it is the middle stage of martial arts, and the basic strength is 4,000 pounds. Calculated in this way, the strength of the wind-cutting sword technique has exceeded the minimum basic strength of a middle-term martial artist by many. After measuring the strength, a door opened automatically in front of him, which was a long walkway. At the end of the corridor, a yellow treasure box is quietly placed there. Finally found you. This walkway is used for speed measurement, with many testing instruments placed on the walls on both sides. When a warrior passes through the passage, his movement speed will be detected. Yi Feng stood at the entrance, adjusting slightly, like a cheetah about to explode. Whoosh! Kick your feet hard! The whole body pulled out the afterimage and rushed a hundred meters in the blink of an eye. The entire walkway is only two hundred meters. The first one hundred meters is used as a speed test, and the back one hundred meters is used as a buffer zone to slow down and stop. At such a speed, normally, without hurting the body, a buffer of tens of meters is needed before it can stop completely. Of course, you can stop quickly in an emergency, but it will be very harmful to your body. The faster you stop, 
the greater the damage. However, Yi Feng only buffered about 5 meters before coming to a complete stop. And, this is taking into account the situation of not harming the body. If your physical fitness improves in the future, you may even be able to stop suddenly. This is the powerful benefit brought by the holy body of martial arts. It has very strong control over the body, and its ability to relieve force and endure is also very good, so it can do this. There is a digital display screen in front, showing the results. 96 meters per second. The passing mark for martial arts masters in the early stages is a basic speed of 90 meters per second, and Yi Feng exceeds that by a bit. When I practice my body skills in the future, my speed will increase and I will be even faster. Yi Feng thought expectantly. Then he dodged and came to the location of the yellow treasure chest. Snap, you opened a yellow treasure box, congratulations on getting, the second level movement technique, swift shadow step, perfect enlightenment. Yi Feng smiled, he lacked a movement technique, and now he just had one. Fusion now, boom, the perfect understanding of, Shuin shadow step, continued to fill Yi Feng's mind until he completely mastered it. When using physical skills, whether it is extreme speed or movement, there will be a certain amount of increase. The magnitude of the increase depends on the level of the body technique and the proficiency of mastering it. The second level movement technique is very suitable for Yi Feng, who is in the martial arts realm. Yi Feng used swift shadow step and could clearly feel that his body became lighter and more flexible. Fighting in this state will make it more difficult for the enemy to predict his changing trajectory, and the advantage gap will widen. There was no movement support just now, and the maximum speed was 96 meters per second. I will test it again now to see how much it can be improved. Yi Feng immediately returned to the starting point of the speed test, took a deep breath, and ran shadow step at full speed. Whoosh! The body turned into an afterimage and passed a hundred meters ahead in an instant, feeling much faster than before. The digital display jumps and the results appear. 140 meters per second. It has increased so much. The basic speed of the martial arts master in the later stage is only 150 per second, which is close. With Shenfa, it is really a huge improvement. With a happy mood, Yi Feng walked outside. I thought that if I tested such data, it would attract many students to watch. I found out after I went out, but no one has found it yet. Thinking about it, I went in to test two pieces of data, and then opened a treasure chest. Including the delay, it took about half a minute in total. It happened to be normal that no one was paying attention here. It didn't matter if anyone found out. Yi Feng didn't care and left directly. Soon after Yi Feng left. Two classmates approached while talking. If you still don't believe it, I will test it for you now. I just tested it in room 3. If Yi Feng were here, he would recognize that the person speaking was the student with the mole on the corner of his mouth who was taking the test in front of him just now. He just left after the test and showed off to a classmate that his strength had increased a lot after practicing martial arts diligently. Unexpectedly, his classmate, after asking about the data, didn't believe what he said and thought it was impossible to increase by that much. Young and energetic, he will argue everything to the end. Therefore, the student with the black mole took his classmates to test him in person, and still chose room 3. HMPH, let's see what you say later. The black mole student said that he was about to go in. Etc. But he was stopped by his classmates, with a somewhat surprised tone. What's wrong? Are you afraid of being slapped in the face? The black mole student sneered. No, look, what are you looking at? Look at the door. Hiss. Seeing this in disbelief, the student with black mole took a deep breath. Above the door, there are two amazing achievements written clearly. Strength. 4,510 pounds. Speed. 140 meters per second. This, who measured this? Both were shocked. Such data is clearly only possessed by strong martial arts masters. Martial arts master, that is the level of a school teacher. A teacher just came over for a test. But it doesn't seem right. There is a place specifically for teachers to practice, and there are testing instruments there, which are more advanced than the ones here. Which teacher is so idle that he comes over here and competes with students for testing points? Could it be him? The student with the black mole looked surprised. Who is it? What do you know? The classmate asked. Not sure. Just now, when I came out, 
there was a person waiting outside. He should also be tested. I doubt that he came up with this data, said the black mole student. Who is that? The classmate asked if there must be a martial artist who could measure such results. He was curious about who it was. It felt like he was also a student, but I didn't look closely, and at that time, my mind was all on my own grades. Looking back now, I can't even remember the other person's appearance. The student with the black mole was a little annoyed. Student, ha ha ha, his classmates laughed loudly, how is it possible? Which student has such strength? Even if you go to no. One middle school, you can't find this kind of student, let alone this is no. 10 middle school. The laughter attracted other students nearby. After asking about the situation, they all laughed. You're laughing. You've been here all this time and you haven't seen anyone go in. The black mole student was a little annoyed by the laughter and asked. Who has nothing to look around for? Out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone coming out, but I didn't pay attention to who it was. Don't make any wild guesses. It's definitely not a student. Maybe some teacher came over to find a certain student and just tested it on a whim. It won't take too much time anyway. Indeed, this is the most likely possibility. Yi Feng had no idea that his test results in order to open the treasure chest would attract so much attention. Yi Feng, who left the testing building, was walking on the road, thinking about the next thing. Suddenly, another treasure chest clue prompt appeared. And, this time is very different. Treasure box clue. In the hall of honor of 10th high school, a green treasure box appears. Please go and open it. Green treasure chest. That is a treasure chest of a higher level than the yellow one, and the treasures it opens are better than the yellow treasure chest. Unexpectedly, clues to the green treasure chest were provided so quickly. However, this location, if Yi Feng guessed correctly, the location of the green treasure chest might not be that easy to get into. Go and take a look first before we talk. Yi Feng followed the green arrow on the ground and came to a tall building in the middle of the school. In front of the building, there is also a tall stone tablet engraved with four characters, Hall of Honor. In addition to the four large characters, there are also many small characters engraved on the rest of the place. Each name corresponds to an introduction. They are all teachers and students in the past who have made great contributions to the school. In students' mouths, this is called the honor roll. Anyone who can get good grades can be on this honor list. Before being on the honor roll, there will be a commendation event, which will be held in the Hall of Honor. Looking at the locked Hall of Honor over there, Yi Feng understood that if he wanted to enter the Hall of Honor and successfully open the treasure chest, he would need to contribute to the school to have a chance to enter. So there is no other way but to wait a few more days. If you get a good score in the college entrance examination, you will have a chance to get in. Time flies, and two days pass in the blink of an eye. Today is the day of the college entrance examination. The college entrance examination is divided into two major items, the literary test and the martial arts test. The literary test tests paper knowledge, such as, how to use qi and blood, which secret realm does a certain strange beast come from, and what are its strengths and weaknesses. The martial arts test tests actual combat experience. The process is to take the liberal arts test first and then the martial arts test. Early in the morning, Students from one school took buses to the Liberal Arts Examination Center in the city center. The huge building is like a giant beast crawling here, swallowing every candidate. Don't run around and follow your teacher's instructions. Thousands of students from No. 10 Middle School gathered in the square outside the examination room, and Principal Lu Tai began to lecture. Did you hear that clearly? I'm from class 15. Lu Tai glanced at the students in class 15 angrily, and then the whispering scene became quiet. Listen clearly. The students responded loudly. Yi Feng was in the crowd of class 15 and looked around. I saw a few guys with plasters on their right hands. They were the ones who were injured by Yi Feng two days ago when they were looking for trouble. My right hand is injured, but I can still use my left hand. I can't give up on the college entrance examination. When the time comes, I'll see if any pheasant university is willing to admit me. No matter how rubbish I am, I'll work hard until I graduate, and then work as a security guard. In today's society, security guards also have certain thresholds. They require a bit of force, and ordinary people simply can't do it. 
When several people noticed that Yi Feng was looking over, their bodies suddenly stiffened, their eyes avoided, and they did not dare to look at Yi Feng. Wang Hu, why are you so nervous all of a sudden? The classmates on the side asked. No. Who is nervous? We are not nervous. Wang Hu and others retorted tremblingly. From the corner of their eyes, they noticed that Yi Feng was no longer looking at them, and then they relaxed again. Students from class 1, follow me into the examination room. The voice of the teacher from class 1 came over there. Under his leadership, nearly a hundred top students walked towards the examination room. Before leaving, He Ziling looked back at the crowd and finally settled on Yi Feng. She made a thumbs up gesture and matched it with her mouth. Yi Feng knew she was saying, Come on. Yi Feng smiled and gave a thumbs up in return. However, when He Ziling turned around again, her body paused unnaturally, and her eyebrows frowned slightly. What's wrong? Yi Feng asked with his lips. He Ziling quickly returned to normal and shook her head to indicate that it was okay. Looking at He Ziling's retreating back, Yi Feng was thoughtful. Suddenly a reminder interrupted Yi Feng's thoughts. Treasure box clue. In the first examination area of the liberal arts examination room, a yellow treasure box excellent product appears. Please go and open it. Ha, huh, there is also a treasure chest in the examination room. Yi Feng was a little surprised. The main thing is that I got a clue two days ago that there is a green treasure chest in the Hall of Honor of No. 10 Middle School, but I haven't had a chance to open it yet. I originally thought that I needed to open the treasure chest in order to get new clues to the treasure chest, but it turned out that was not the case and I could still get new clues to the treasure chest. This is very good, and you don't have to worry about some treasure chests being difficult to open in the future and getting stuck because of this. Although the treasure chest prompted this time is only yellow, it has the suffix, fine, added to it. In other words, it is the best product in the yellow treasure box. Since it is a high-quality product, the items that come out of it must be better than ordinary yellow treasure chests. Examinee of Class 15, follow me into the examination room. Duan Chuan spoke up and took the lead. The students quickly followed. Yi Feng also followed, entering the examination room first, and then looking for an opportunity to open the treasure chest. The so-called examination room is an extremely huge hall. Divide the examination areas one by one, from the first to the tenth examination area. The ten high schools in Linhai City correspond to these ten examination areas. Candidates in the tenth middle school are located in the tenth examination area, which is divided into rows of areas according to different classes. Each exam position is like a phone booth, existing independently, with 360-degree real-time monitoring to ensure no cheating. Students find their respective examination seats, and when the time is up, they can swipe their admission tickets and enter the examination seats. Yi Feng's position is in the 10th examination area, the 15th row, and the last examination seat. There are still 10 minutes left. Theoretically speaking, you can still move freely now. Go to the first examination area and open the treasure chest. This should be enough time. The only thing that worries Yi Feng is that if the treasure box is located in a certain student's examination seat, it will be uncomfortable and there will be no chance to open it. You can't say, brother, when you enter the examination position, let me go in and take a look. It is estimated that the proctor will directly expel you from the examination room for violating the college entrance examination regulations on the spot. Go and take a look first. It's useless to think too much about it, you'll know by actually looking at it. At the same time, in another hall, principals and teachers from various colleges came here one after another to watch the candidates take the exam. They are not afraid of cheating by contacting candidates secretly and providing them with answers during the exam. Every candidate needs to go through inspection before entering the examination room. They are not allowed to bring any communication or internet equipment. Once they enter the examination seat, they are completely isolated from the outside world. Hey, if I remember correctly, the student named Yi Feng is from your number. One middle school, right? The principal of the number. Two middle school looked at the huge projection screen in the hall, which was monitoring the entire examination room from God's perspective. He could see as many candidates as ants walking back and forth there. He accidentally saw the figure of Yi Feng in the 10th examination area. Competition is particularly fierce among schools, especially No. 1 Middle School and No. 
two middle school, which have similar rankings and are closely watched. As for the top students in No. 1 Middle School, the principal of No. 2 Middle School had already investigated, and naturally knew very well that there was such a top student as Yi Fang. However, Yi Fang's expulsion from No. 1 Middle School only happened in the past few days. Even if he paid more attention, he would not know it so quickly. Now that he actually saw Yi Fang in the candidate area of number. 10 Middle School, the principal of No. 2 Middle School was very curious. Did this candidate go to the wrong place? As soon as the principal of No. 2 Middle School said this, many principals and teachers present turned their doubtful eyes to Zhao Donghai, the principal of No. 1 Middle School, to see if he had anything to say. Zhao Donghai's face stiffened. This stupid guy actually ended up in the 10th middle school. And this 10th middle school is really unprincipled. I gave such a reason for dropping out, but the 10th middle school still accepted me. Zhao Donghai cursed angrily in his heart. Originally, there was no competitive relationship with the 10th middle school, and there was no need for the two schools to compete with each other. But now, the students he designed to expel were so that they would not be able to go to school, but the number. 10 middle school accepted them without any discernment. It made Zhao Donghai feel like he was stabbed in the back by Shijong. The perception of no. 10 middle school also became disgusting. In this case, don't blame yourself for being ruthless. Alas, it's a joke for everyone. Zhao Donghai first pretended to have a helpless and sad expression. With his emotions brewing in place, he continued, I thought that this student named Yi Feng was an honors student with excellent grades. Unexpectedly, all of his past results were obtained by cheating. He even pretended to be the leader in the Sea Beast battle. With other people's achievements, he almost succeeded again, it's really a shame for me. Fortunately, I finally found out and investigated this person's past cheating behavior, and then I found out that he was a bad student who relied on cheating. What I didn't expect was that such a student with such bad records would still be in school after I was expelled. If you are willing to accept it, the world is truly vast and full of wonders. Having said this, he looked at Lu Tai, and the meaning was self-evident. Swish, swish, swish. The principals and teachers from the surrounding major schools all looked at Lu Tai. The teachers in No. 10 Middle School felt that they were losing face and turned their heads to the side. In fact, they couldn't figure out why Principal Lu Tai would admit such a problem student. He couldn't bring any benefits to the school and made people laugh. No, 10 middle school is garbage, at the bottom of the rankings, but not all students accept it. Cheating, you can cheat all the way to top students without being discovered. It shows how perfunctory your daily mock exams are in no. 1 middle school. Is it useful to blame a candidate if you don't look for the reasons within yourself? Furthermore, is it true? He cheated, who knew? Just because you said he cheated, he cheated. Lu Tai responded with a sneer, not giving Zhao Donghai any face. You, Zhao Donghai was angry, according to your opinion, can I still accuse him unjustly? Although he said it forcefully, he still felt weak in his heart. Tisk, you know better, Lu Tai sneered, Lu Tai, watch your words, Zhao Donghai slapped the table and stood up suddenly. Lu Taizhang was about to respond when a slightly aged voice sounded from outside the door, okay, don't say a word. We are all principals, how unbecoming are we to make such a fuss here? Three people walked in from outside. The leader has silver hair, wears a pair of glasses, and looks like an elderly scholar. Although he looked old, the aura he exuded unintentionally made everyone present not dare to be disobedient. King Wu, this old man has definitely reached the level of King Wu. In front of such strong men, the general level principals must be disciplined honestly. The three of them are the invigilators for this liberal arts examination, and they are all good at both civil and military skills. Especially the old man at the head is a very famous professor named, Guan Chongzhou. This exam paper, the final question, was written by him. He also has a nickname called, Perfect Score Killer. There is this nickname because any test paper with questions written by him is extremely difficult. He likes to present some unpopular extracurricular knowledge very much, which tests the candidate's accumulation of extracurricular knowledge and often drives them crazy. According to statistics, whenever he takes the college entrance examination with questions, he never gets a perfect score. 
The wrong questions for which points were deducted were often his. Professor Guan, the principals and teachers present saluted Guan Changzhou and said hello. Yes, Guan Changzhou nodded and sat down with the other two invigilators. Zhao Donghai glared at Lu Tai fiercely and sat back down again. When his eyes returned to the surveillance screen, he happened to see Yi Feng leaving the 10th examination area, not knowing where he was going. This picture was also seen by others. Lu Tai was also puzzled. The exam was approaching, so why did he leave his exam position? Professor Guan, we had a dispute just now because of the candidate named Yi Feng. He was originally a student of our number one middle school, but he was expelled from our school for cheating. Zhao Donghai seized the opportunity and immediately reported to Guan Changzhou, explaining the cause and effect. When he was about to say it, he happened to see Yi Feng arrive at the first examination area. Look, this student now is probably looking for an opportunity to cheat again. If he doesn't take advantage of his exam position, why would he come to my number? One middle school examination area. I'm afraid he thinks he is from my number. One middle school. I suggest, expel such students from the examination room. Zhao Donghai said. Guan Changzhou glanced at Zhao Donghai, then looked at the surveillance screen, focusing on Yi Feng for a few glances. He has no suspicion of cheating for the time being, and his movements before the exam are in compliance with the rules. It is the responsibility of our invigilators to monitor the candidates, so you can just watch quietly. What Guan Changzhou meant was to shut up Zhao Donghai. But it did put more attention on Yi Feng. The first examination area. Seeing Yi Feng arriving, many students were stunned. Among them, the student named Wang Xing was the first to speak out, aren't you expelled? How can you still come to the examination room? Yi Feng was too lazy to pay attention to him and didn't answer at all. This guy is not concerned, he is just confused. He is from the same faction as Zhao Ming, and he has never dealt with him before. I just saw that he followed the people from the 10th middle school into the examination room. He should have joined the 10th middle school. A nearby student said. Tisk, tisk, 10th middle school. Sure enough, a rubbish school accepts rubbish students. What a perfect match. Wang Xing laughed. Brother Fang, are you confused? I thought you were a student of no. One middle school. This is no. One middle school, not your no. Ten middle school, ha ha ha. One student said with a strange air. What I am talking about now are things that I couldn't deal with before with Yi Feng. It's not that Yi Feng's popularity is really that bad, but when he was in no. One middle school, he inevitably had to compete for resources and defeated many people, which made them feel unhappy. If Yi Feng was still in no. One middle school, they wouldn't dare to show it too much. But now, Yi Feng has been expelled from the school, and everyone has pushed back against him. All the dissatisfaction he had felt in the past has been shown unscrupulously at this time. However, Yi Feng showed no sign of being angry, and even smiled and said to everyone, Does anyone else want to say something? Just say whatever you want, and I will write it down. What can you do if you write it down? Do you still want to hit someone? Wang Xing said sarcastically. Yes, there is a chance to fight. Yi Feng still smiled. Ha ha, I used to be afraid of you because I thought you were very strong. But now I know that you are just a cheater. Many of your top grades were obtained by cheating. Do you think I will still be afraid of you? Don't let me touch you during the martial arts exam, or you'll look good. That's right, we used cheating to steal our resources. Let's settle the old scores together. Many people spoke out one after another, each with disdain on their faces. Of course, there were a few people who still had a good relationship with Yi Feng. They tried to dissuade him a few words, but they got angry looks from their classmates and almost became targets of siege, so a few people had no choice but to shut up. There's a chance, Yi Feng pointed out something. It seemed like he moved his feet inadvertently, but in fact it was to touch the nearby yellow treasure chest. Chapter 11 Snap, you opened a yellow, high-quality, treasure box, congratulations on getting, 1. Key points of high school curriculum knowledge, 2. Key points of unpopular extracurricular knowledge. A high-quality treasure chest will originally contain two items. The things that are opened are also very local. The treasure boxes opened in this liberal arts examination room are all about liberal arts knowledge. For Yi Feng, it is still very useful. 
Even though his grades in liberal arts were good before, Yi Feng didn't dare to say that he knew everything about high school. Not to mention unpopular extracurricular knowledge. It takes a lot of energy to accumulate this knowledge, and it may not be possible to accumulate it completely. If a question suddenly comes up that you don't know how to do, it is often a high-scoring question, and a lot of points will be deducted. Now, with these two kinds of knowledge, Yi Feng can easily get a perfect score in the exam. Two streams of knowledge and information quickly filled Yi Feng's mind, and there were indeed many of them that Yi Feng didn't know originally. It involves a wide range of types, including herbs, exotic animals, weapons. All kinds of knowledge are not only useful in the examination room. They will also be useful when going out into society in the future. Now that he had reached the treasure chest and the purpose of his trip had been achieved, Yi Feng walked towards his examination seat. It's okay if you know you're afraid. Sure enough, the paper tiger can no longer be stubborn. Wang Xing and others thought that Yi Feng was scared by them, so they chose to leave quickly. When Yi Feng returned to the 10th examination area, he was near his examination seat and the time was just right. The loud broadcast sounded throughout the examination room. Now, all candidates are asked to use their admission tickets to verify their identities, enter their respective examination seats, and prepare for the liberal arts examination. Yi Feng did as he was told and swiped the card-style admission ticket into the card slot in front of the examination seat. The closed door will open automatically. Yi Feng entered the examination room and sat down in the middle seat. The door automatically closes again and will not open until the end of the exam, except in emergencies. In the examination area, the isolation effect is very good and it is extremely quiet, allowing candidates to concentrate on the questions. In front of Yi Feng, a curtain of light appeared. The liberal arts exam starts now. Question 1. What realm can the saw-toothed platypus reach as an adult? Which secret realm does it come from? The questions at the beginning were relatively simple, and Yi Feng answered them immediately. You can reach the peak of the sergeant level when you become an adult. You come from the secret realm of dazzling. Then comes the second question, the third question. Yi Feng answered the questions fluently, without thinking at all, and he did the exam questions very quickly. Invigilation Hall. Because of what Zhao Donghai said before, the three examiners, Guan Chongzhou, paid more attention to Yi Feng's movements. What a fast answer, Guan Chongzhou said in surprise. He had no doubt that Yi Feng had cheated. Over the years, he had never cheated in the college entrance examination. In the examination room, so many monitoring and detection instruments are not just decorations. If there is cheating, it will be detected immediately, and there is no need for an invigilator to observe it with the naked eye. Zhao Donghai's face didn't look very good. He knew clearly that Yi Feng's excellent results were genuine. However, Yi Feng's ability to answer the questions so quickly was beyond his expectation. Lu Taze's eyes lit up. Did he find a treasure this time? At that time, he only agreed to accept Yi Feng because of He Ziling's request. He did not dare to have high expectations for Yi Feng at all. But now, it seems that we can expect something. When it was time for the exam, only one fifth of it had passed. Yi Feng completed the final question, while other students had not completed many questions yet. As the record of the fastest submission of exam papers for college entrance examination candidates about to be broken, even Guan Chongzhou was a little surprised. The key is, judging from Yi Feng's answers, not a single question is wrong so far. Brother Guan, it seems that your title of perfect killer is going to be revoked. The younger invigilator on the left joked to Guan Chongzhou. Everyone already knows the nickname Guan Chongzhou. That's not necessarily the case. My final question is extremely unknown. Even some teachers may not be able to answer it correctly. Guan Chongzhou seemed very confident and felt that Yi Feng would not be able to answer. As soon as these words came out, the other two proctors present, as well as the teacher and the principal, all focused their attention on Yi Feng. Yi Feng looked at this final question. When was Guangdingmu first discovered? Where was it discovered? What happened? People in the proctoring hall can also see the questions. A seemingly ordinary question made the principal and teachers look at each other. If they were asked to answer this question, they would not be able to answer it. Because they all felt quite unfamiliar with the name Guandingmu. Zhao Donghai looked nearby and saw a middle-aged man with a square face. 
The middle-aged man was a teacher of the Department of Botany at the college. He had extensive research on various plants and should know about it. But I saw the teacher shaking his head slightly, indicating that he was unclear. Even the teachers don't know, let alone the students. No wonder people say that Guan Changzhou is a perfect score killer. The questions he poses are so difficult that he really deserves this nickname. It seems that Yi Fang can't answer this question either. Everyone thinks so. However, when he saw Yi Fang in the picture, he actually started to answer. If it were before, Yi Fang wouldn't be able to answer it. But I opened the yellow treasure chest and got the key points of unpopular knowledge, which just happened to contain this part of the knowledge. Answer. In the 205th year of the Gaowu period, a kind of mouse was discovered in the Choksia forest in the green secret realm, and was named, Choksia rat. Seeing this, Zhao Donghai sneered secretly. The question asked about Guandingmu. What are you talking about about Choksia rat? The article is completely wrong. What he didn't notice was that Guan Changzhou had already begun to nod secretly. Yi Feng's answer continues. It was later discovered that some Choksia mice had a woody plant growing on their heads. After research, it was found that this woody plant is parasitic on the head of the Choksia rat. It is named Guandingmu, which means the plant grows with the head as a cauldron. Guanding wood has medicinal value and is one of the raw materials of the first generation of Chuanghe Dan. People want to obtain Guanding wood on a large scale. But just catching wild Choksia rats is extremely inefficient, and it is also very dangerous to frequently enter and exit the secret green areas. So people have started to think about breeding Choksia rats artificially. They captured Choksia mice, took them away from the green secret land, returned to the city to breed them, and studied how to parasitize the crown tree on a large scale. But if the Choksia rat leaves the environment of Choksia forest, the crown tree cannot successfully parasitize it. After several years of research, no results have been achieved, so we finally had to give up. Finally, in the 210th year of the Gaowu era, a better substitute than Guandingmu was found, which was less difficult to obtain. Therefore, Chuanghe Dan was upgraded to the second generation. At this point, it only took a few years, and Guandingmu was no longer noticed. Yi Feng barely paused before finishing writing the answer. The teachers and principals present were dumbfounded. It is now the 350th year of Gaowuji, which turned out to be more than a hundred years ago. Guandingmu has only received attention for a few years, and Chuanghe Dan is not a well-known elixir, and it has not caused any major events. It is difficult for things like this to leave many traces in the classics. Only fragments of words from that time can be found in a few ancient books. This kind of knowledge is indeed very unpopular. Even many principals and teachers are confused by it, let alone high school students. However, Yi Feng, a high school student, can answer questions fluently, which is really incredible. Yes, yes, this boy is absolutely extraordinary. Guan Changzhou stroked his goatee, as if he had seen a piece of fine jade, with unconcealable admiration in his eyes. It is very rare to get a compliment from Guan Changzhou. Regarding Yi Feng's performance, Lu Tai was also extremely surprised and surprised. Originally, he only agreed to Yi Feng's enrollment for He Ziling Sake, but he didn't expect to find a treasure. Principal Zhao, didn't you say that Yi Feng's excellent grades were all due to cheating, and that's why you expelled him from school? Now it seems that it doesn't seem like that. Lu Tai seized the opportunity and said strangely to Zhao Donghai. Others around him also turned their attention to Zhao Donghai. Yes, it doesn't mean that Yi Feng cheated and had no real materials. What's going on now? How would a student who relies on cheating know such unpopular knowledge? Can he be praised by Guan Changzhou? Zhao Donghai felt his face burning. I used to slander Yi Feng a lot, but now I get slapped in the face a lot. I, what I said is that he cheated on his martial arts scores, and I didn't say he cheated on the liberal arts. He has always been good at the liberal arts. Zhao Donghai is still being stubborn. After saying that, I added in my mind, this kid's martial arts foundation has been damaged. He will definitely not be able to recover. He will not be able to perform at least 0% of his strength. He will definitely fail in the martial arts exam. He will definitely not be slapped in the face again this time. Wait until he fails. Well, his strength does not match his previous results. I don't need to say anything more to suspect him of cheating in the past. 
Zhao Donghai glared at Lu Tai fiercely, ha! Huh. There will be times when you will be embarrassed. Yi Feng in the examination room finished answering the questions and sat quietly inside. Generally speaking, if there is still time, I will check it a few more times. But Yi Feng didn't think it was necessary. He opened the treasure box and got two knowledge points. This test paper should not be too simple, and he was confident that he would get full marks. At this time, a treasure chest prompt popped up. Treasure box clue. In the martial arts examination room, a yellow high-quality treasure box appears. Please go and open it. Yi Feng, who was sitting idle in the examination seat, received this reminder. Another yellow product. The treasure chest in the liberal arts examination room helps you get a perfect score in liberal arts, but what can you find in the treasure chest in the martial arts examination room? Yi Feng was looking forward to it. Time passed in waiting. Candidates please note that there is only the last minute left for the liberal arts exam. Emotional electronic prompts sounded in every examination seat. It's over, it's over, I still have a few questions to answer. Which fool came up with this final question? What on earth is Guandingmu? There was a cry in the examination room. A minute passed quickly. When the liberal arts exam is over, the paper will be handed in automatically regardless of whether you have finished answering it or not. The exam paper is under review. The current liberal arts exam is like this. There is no need for manual review. After the exam is over, the computer will review the paper immediately and you can get the score quickly. In about two minutes, all candidates got their scores. Oh, I failed the test again. This harmful finale question caused me to lose so many points. Well, this score is not bad, it exceeds my psychological expectations. Some are happy and some are sad. Yi Feng looked at his score. 100 points. Full score. Totally expected. The doors of all examination rooms will be opened at the same time. Many candidates came out of the examination seats and looked around, wanting to see the score rankings on the big screen on the wall. They want to know who came first in the exam, whether anyone answered the final question correctly, and whether anyone got full marks. At this time, the big screen did not show data yet, but there was a line of words hanging on it. The data is being sorted statistically. I know without looking at it that the number one middle school will definitely be at the top of the list. They will probably occupy several places at the top. Yes, the results of the number one middle school in all previous college entrance examinations have been very good. It is an old tradition. Which top student from no one middle school do you think will be at the top of the list? I guess it's Fang Yuching. Maybe it's Lu Hao. Wake up. The two people you mentioned, plus a person named Zhao Ming, these three have been admitted to Longtang Academy and have not participated in the college entrance examination. Many candidates were discussing among themselves. Look, the ranking data is out. All the candidates looked at the big screen. First place. Yi Feng, 100 points, time 23 minutes and 41 seconds, from No. 10 High School. Second place. He Ziling, 90 points, 120 minutes, from No. 10 High School. Third place. Wang Sheng, 89 points, 120 minutes, from No. 1 High School. Fourth place. As soon as the list came out, there was an uproar and everyone was shocked. Everyone thought that the top spot must be from the number 1 high school, but they didn't expect that it would be the number 10 high school, and the second place was also from the number 10 high school. What's even more shocking is that Yi Feng's score reached the perfect score, the only perfect score. He took the initiative to hand in the paper in just 23 minutes, breaking the fastest handover speed in history. The old record was 55 minutes, a full 32 minutes shorter. The key is that in such a short time to answer the question, I actually got the only perfect score. People also noticed a phenomenon. The score of He Ziling, who came in second place, dropped directly to 90 points. Combined with the finale question, the score is exactly 10 points. It is not difficult to guess that He Ziling lost points for the finale question. This was also true, she couldn't figure out the answer until the end of the exam. In the entire examination room, only Yi Feng answered the final question correctly, which shows how unpopular this question is. What's going on? How can that guy get perfect scores? Among the crowd and no. One middle school, Wang Xing gritted his teeth and couldn't believe his eyes. This time, 
Fang Yucheng and others were recommended to Longtang Academy. Without a few strong opponents, he has a high chance of competing for the first place. Who knew that the final question this time would be extremely difficult? But then I thought about it, I couldn't do it myself, and others certainly couldn't do it either. In this way, he still has hope of ranking first. But when the list came out, he was dumbfounded. Yi Feng, who made him hate him so much, actually got a perfect score and beat him hard and won the first place. There was even another student from No. 10 Middle School who occupied the second place. He was pushed directly to third place. At this time, Zhao Donghai's face looked a little ugly. Among the top 10 positions, he only occupied three. According to his estimate, it should be at least half. And the top three were all won by him. But now, all of them are in full glory. Principal Liu, congratulations, you're no. 10 High School really opened our eyes this time. Except for Zhao Donghai, the principals of other schools all pretended to be happy, feeling very uncomfortable. Ha ha, lucky, lucky. Liu Tai's face was flushed and he responded humbly, but he couldn't suppress the raised corners of his mouth. Principal Zhao, I have to thank you for your sacrifice and giving me such a good student as Yi Feng, otherwise this crown will still belong to your no. One middle school. Liu Tai did not forget to give Zhao Donghai a touch-up. Zhao Donghai's face turned green with anger. HMPH. There will be times when you are embarrassed. Zhao Donghai snorted coldly, swung his sleeves and left. Yi Feng sighed. He zilling came over. You're so awesome. You got the final question right, what's the answer? She said in a very admiring tone. She was originally very upset that she couldn't answer the question, but now that she knew she was second, it didn't matter. As long as you rank high, it doesn't matter if you answer correctly or not. The answer, Yi Feng told He Ziling. That's amazing, you know all the unpopular knowledge. He Ziling exclaimed. Fortunately, I happen to know. Yi Feng said with a smile. I lost to you in liberal arts, but I want to make a comeback in martial arts. I must rank higher than you. He Ziling waved her fist, full of confidence. Then come on. Yi Feng was really embarrassed to dampen her fighting spirit. At this time, Lu Tai and many teachers came over. Yi Feng, you have brought glory to the school. I didn't expect you to get such results. And He Ziling, you came in second and brought glory to the school. They smile like chrysanthemums and are as enthusiastic as they want. The martial arts test is tomorrow. Let's go back now and have a good rest. If you have any needs, you can ask for them and strive to get good results in the test tomorrow. As long as you get good grades and get a ranking, the school will give you a large amount of scholarships and other training resources. Lu Tai said with a smile. Therefore, no matter when and where you are, you need to have strength to gain the enthusiasm and respect of others. For example, when he first entered school, the principal didn't even say a word to him, but now he is so enthusiastic and comes to say this to himself. We will do our best. Yi Feng and He Ziling both responded. Everyone went back to rest. Tomorrow there will be special vehicles coming to transport candidates to specific examination rooms. In other words, until now no one knows where the martial arts examination room is, mainly to prevent cheating. Of course, if Yi Feng wants to look for it now, he can also find it. Because there is a treasure box there with arrow guidance. As long as you follow the arrow, you will eventually arrive at the examination room. But Yi Feng didn't have to do this. The place must be strictly guarded now. There is no way to go in privately. If you go there, you won't be able to open the treasure chest. If someone discovers and finds out his identity, he thinks that he is going to make arrangements in advance to give him a chance to cheat in the martial arts test, then the gain outweighs the loss. The next day, Groups of candidates were transported by vehicles and headed out of the city. What a high wall! When passing by the border of Linhai City, Yi Feng saw a thick city wall standing there, hundreds of meters high. Under the city wall, there is a huge city gate. On both sides of the city gate, a team of warriors stood on each side, their eyes like lightning watching the people entering and leaving the city gate. Such a city wall isolates the city from the wild. If a strange beast attacks the city, it can act as the first line of defense, allowing the experts in the city to have enough time to come to support. As for the flying beasts, they can only rely on other means to defend themselves. Time flies so fast. I remember it was the same last year. 
The students taking the martial arts exam passed by me. I didn't expect that a year had passed. Yes, it is precisely because of the continuous stream of students taking up martial arts and the birth of many strong men that we humans can resist alien beasts and defend our homeland. The city guards watched the candidates passing by and talked in low voices. Yi Feng looked at the scenery outside the car window. This was his first time out of the city. When in the city, there are various buildings and pedestrians. Outside the city, there are plants, sand and stones everywhere. It took a long time to see people, either alone or in teams. They were all warriors, with varying degrees of strength. Ordinary people simply did not dare to leave the city. When warriors go out of the city, they often come to take risks and look for various martial arts resources. The vehicle was heading north. Finally, we came to a mountain range. This place is called, Day's Ridge. Even if you have never studied geography, you basically know this place. Day's Ridge has a great reputation, at least in Linhai City, almost everyone knows it. Because there is an entrance to a secret realm deep in Day's Ridge, people call it the, Day's Ridge Secret Realm. Yi Feng remembered that yesterday's liberal arts exam, the first question involved the secret realm of dazzling. In the past, I could only see relevant introductions in books, but now I finally came to the place in person. Many candidates, including Yi Feng, got off the car and looked into the depths of dazzling. You can see that half of the skyline in the distance looks like a broken mirror, with countless cracks twisting and turning all over the area. Just because you can see half of it does not mean that it is only half of it. There is also half of it below. Due to the distance and being blocked by obstacles such as ancient trees and mountains, it is impossible to see the whole picture clearly from here. Yi Feng, who had seen it countless times in textbooks and videos, had already completed the second half of the picture in his mind. In the center of the crack, there will be a space passage. As long as you get close, you can go to the secret realm. Not only people can enter, the strange beasts in the secret realm will also come outside from time to time. It is precisely because more than 300 years ago, space shook, forming secret realms, and many strange beasts emerged, which opened the era of high martial arts. From the appearance of the first secret realm to 10 hundred. Nowadays, there are so many secret places all over the world, and they are still increasing. Every time a new secret realm is formed, it is a big news. It may be an opportunity to find new resources, or it may be a disaster that will cause the death of countless warriors who venture into it. The secret realm is divided into levels 1 to 9 according to the degree of danger. The dazzling secret realm is dangerous at level 2. If you want to enter it, it is recommended to reach the level of martial arts master. Can the warriors enter? Of course you can, but it's more life-consuming. Here in Deschelling, there are many strange beasts, most of which ran out of the secret realm and lived here to thrive. Their strength ranges from soldier level to sergeant level, and even rumored to have a few general level beasts. This year's martial arts examination center is right here in Dazzling. Experts have been dispatched in advance to circle the area of the examination room and screen all the strange beasts within the area. Those that are beyond the candidate's ability to deal with have been wiped out, leaving only the beasts with soldier level strength. For students, it is just enough to handle. The examiner is here. This voice came from nowhere, and the candidates became quiet. Three figures with strong energy and blood came to the front of many candidates. There are examiners for liberal arts subjects, and there are examiners for martial arts subjects. These three examiners for martial arts subjects are not the three examiners from Guangzhou yesterday. Everyone looked around. The most eye-catching thing is the hot woman in the middle. She is dressed in fiery red combat light armor that fits her graceful body, and her graceful curves are undoubtedly displayed, like a burning flame. She looks very young and beautiful, exuding a fiery charm in every move she makes. Many men present couldn't help but cast their eyes on the female examiner. Of course, don't look too presumptuous. This woman looks young, but she gives people an extremely terrifying feeling. She is definitely very powerful. It's her, Su Chanyi. The principles, spirits were lifted. This person has a good background and once graduated from Longtang Academy with first place results in all categories. Currently, he is only 26 years old and serves as a senior tutor at Longtang Academy. At the same time, she was crowned the youngest female martial arts queen in Lingnan province. 
The two examiners who accompanied her were originally very good, but when compared with her, they looked lackluster. I am the examiner of this martial arts exam, Su Chanyi. Su Chanyi gave a brief introduction and then went straight to the topic. Each of you candidates will receive a set of equipment and enter the examination room. Within eight hours, try to hunt as many strange beasts as possible. Come out after the time is up. Points will be calculated according to the number and strength of the strange beasts killed. Ranking. If you rank in the top 100 in both civil and military subjects, you will be admitted to Longtang University. If you rank above 100, you will be admitted to other universities. Work harder, maybe the next time we meet, we will be at Longtang Academy. Su Chani announced the rules and finally gave a word of encouragement. I have strong strength, beautiful appearance, and a hot body. I love it. I must be admitted to Longtang Academy. I will apply when the time comes and become a student of this beautiful tutor. I can't even imagine how happy I am. Wang Xing, who was in the first high school, clenched his fists until they turned white, and secretly vowed that he would be admitted to Longtang Academy. He ranks third in liberal arts. As long as his performance in martial arts is normal, or even if he performs poorly, as long as it is not too abnormal, it is very safe to enter Longtang Academy. He has already begun to fantasize about that wonderful college career under the guidance of a beautiful tutor. There were many people who had the same idea as him, and those who thought they had some possibility secretly encouraged themselves to get admitted to Longtang Academy. Only those who know that they are too scumbag don't dare to dream. They are already regretting it. If they had known that Longtang Academy had such a beautiful instructor, they would have to study and practice hard. Ha, huh, what's going on? At this moment, Yi Feng was shocked to find that a blue light emerged from Su Chani's lower abdomen. Dazzled, I rubbed my eyes vigorously, but the blue light was still there. Looking at the other students, I found that there was nothing strange about them. In other words, this blue light can only be seen by you. Could it be? An outrageous guess emerged in Yi Feng's mind. Treasure box clue. A blue treasure box appears in Su Chani's lower abdomen. Please go and open it. Holy shit, this is really the case. If it weren't for the many people present, Yi Feng would have shouted. Just as I guessed, the appearance of blue light meant that a blue treasure box appeared there. After the treasure chest clue popped up, a blue arrow appeared, guiding all the way to Su Chani. What's even more outrageous is that the treasure chests opened before are all in a certain position, motionless. But now, the treasure box on Su Chani's body actually moves as she moves. It was as if the treasure box was hidden in Su Chani's lower abdomen. This treasure chest, how do you want me to open it? How outrageous, there can be treasure chests inside the human body. If you really don't think about it at all, how should you open it? The system is like this. Yi Feng only needs to find the treasure box and try his best to open the treasure box. There are many things that the system needs to consider. Although Yi Feng still can't figure out how to open this treasure chest, at least he knows that it is a blue treasure chest. That is a fourth level treasure chest, and it can definitely bring out good things. That's enough. As long as the treasure chest is good enough, no matter how tricky the location is or how difficult it is to open, Yi Feng will still find a way to open it. Now all candidates are asked to go over there to collect equipment, and then enter the examination room according to the rules. After Su Chani said this, she stepped away and left the place. The other two invigilators also left. A temporary greenhouse was set up nearby with many monitoring equipment inside. The invigilator would go inside and use the monitoring equipment to check the movements everywhere. Yi Feng shook his head secretly. It seemed that he had no chance to contact Su Chani for the time being. In fact, even if Su Chani is here at this time, Yi Feng has no reason to get close to her. Even if you are close, how can you open the treasure chest? Yi Feng felt a little headache. Classmate Yi Feng, don't put too much pressure on yourself, just perform normally. Principal Lu Tai saw Yi Feng shaking his head secretly, thinking that Yi Feng was too stressed about the martial arts exam and had no confidence, so he comforted Yi Feng. Well, I'll just try my best. Yi Feng nodded without explaining too much. Tisk, of course he was under pressure. During the martial arts exam, there were monitoring equipment tracking the entire process. In full view of the public, 
he was found to have extremely poor strength and did not match his previous results at all. There is no way to explain it. A sarcastic voice came from nearby. Just by listening to the voice, Yi Feng knew who it was. It was naturally Zhao Donghai, the principal of No. One Middle School. Zhao Donghai, I don't allow you to talk about my students like this. Lu Tai glared at Zhao Donghai. It's just facts, why don't you let me tell you? Zhao Donghai didn't take it seriously. Just when Lu Tai wanted to say something, Yi Feng beat him to it. Zhao Donghai, you must cherish your status as the principal of the number. One high school, Yi Feng said in calm words. What do you mean? Zhao Donghai frowned. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter. You will understand after today. Yi Feng chuckled. HMPH, that's a bluff. Zhao Donghai snorted coldly, too lazy to talk to Yi Feng. In his opinion, saying such vague words was exactly a sign of Yi Feng's guilty conscience. Candidates please line up your team and come here to receive equipment. There are many staff members who have begun scheduling candidates. The candidates lined up in teams, went to a specific location, and received a set of equipment. These include, one tactical backpack, one weapon that you usually use, one set of well-fitting defensive armor, and one aerial camera. Yi Feng received the equipment. I chose a sword as my weapon because the martial arts skills I know now are all sword skills. Whether it is weapons or armor, they are the lowest level of equipment, but they are enough for candidates. Yi Feng, let's see who can kill more. After He Ziling received the equipment, he said to Yi Feng. The weapon she chose was a silver white long sword. It seemed that she usually practiced swordsmanship and martial arts. Okay, but you have to be mentally prepared so that you don't get hit too hard by me. Yi Feng told the truth. Humph, don't look down on me. He Ziling rolled her eyes at Yi Feng. Just at this time, He Ziling's face suddenly changed, almost losing all color, and her body was still shivering on a hot day. Fortunately, it quickly returned to normal, just like the abnormality just now had never happened. What's wrong with you? Are you feeling unwell? Yi Feng asked. I remember that yesterday, before the liberal arts exam, when he was about to enter the examination room, He Ziling was like this, and his body felt strange for a moment. At that time, Yi Feng mouthed from a distance, what's wrong? He Ziling said, it's okay, and everyone entered the examination room. It's been an old problem since I was little. It's just a sudden chill that runs through my body. It wasn't serious when I was a kid, I just felt a little colder, and the attacks only happened once in a long time. It's becoming more and more frequent now, and it's getting colder and colder. Just now it seemed like I was suddenly in an ice cave, and I almost fainted from the cold. It's okay. As long as we get through it, everything will return to normal. He Ziling waved her hands with an indifferent tone. Yi Feng didn't know the reason for such a strange thing, so he could only nod. All candidates please enter the examination room in an orderly manner. Following the sound of the broadcast, the aerial camera each person received automatically flew into the sky. Each aerial camera has a flight path set in advance. At this time, it will fly automatically. Candidates can just follow the aerial camera and finally arrive at a certain location in the examination room. The purpose of this rule is to allow all candidates to be dispersed throughout the examination room, rather than forming teams freely. After arriving at the destination, candidates can move freely, and the aerial camera will follow the candidates and take real-time pictures. At that time, when you meet others on the way, you can decide whether to be hostile or cooperative. In this way, various uncertain factors that will arise during the field operation are simulated, which will test the candidate's adaptability and reflect the candidate's comprehensive strength. Yi Feng followed the aerial camera and walked towards the examination room. Not far away, Wang Xing and others from No. One middle school saw Yi Feng and made a spatula gesture with his palm, showing a strong sense of hostility. Yi Feng glanced lightly without any expression. Yi Feng didn't even bother to take a second look at this little Karami. They had better pray not to be touched by themselves inside, otherwise, they must be allowed to enjoy the early exit treatment. Yi Feng paid more attention to the yellow arrow on the ground. As early as in the liberal arts examination room, I had already been reminded that there was a yellow, high-quality treasure box here. I hope the location of the treasure chest isn't too tricky. 
Originally he wasn't worried about this, but what happened just now, Yi Feng was really worried about the treasure chest hidden in the human body, and the location of the treasure chest was also tricky. Fortunately, this time, the system was not kidding. There, when Yi Feng walked into the examination room, right at the entrance, a yellow treasure box was quietly placed there. It happens to be the place you are going to pass by, so you can drive by the way. Otherwise, you need to follow the aerial camera first, arrive at the destination, and then go to find the treasure chest when you are free to move, which will waste a lot of time. Because if you don't follow the aerial camera, you will give up the martial arts test by default. At this time, being photographed by an aerial camera, there were many students who also entered the examination room, in full view of everyone. But it doesn't matter, they can't see the treasure chest, and they won't know that Yi Feng opened the treasure chest. When passing by the treasure chest, Yi Feng bumped into it. Snap, you opened a yellow, high-quality, treasure box, congratulations on getting, 1. 10 years of wilderness survival experience, 2. A thousand life and death fighting experiences. Invigilation booth, haha, <laughs> look at these candidates. In terms of practical experience, they are almost all fledglings. Many of them were frightened as soon as they entered the examination room. Who says it's not the case? It is estimated that only the children of the family have more opportunities to experience in the wild. They are more calm. It is probably the first time for most of them. In the invigilation booth, a huge projection light screen was divided into pieces, showing the status of each candidate. There are not only invigilators, principals and teachers of each school, but also other invited guests. The guests come from various forces, families, companies, media. At the martial arts examination site, you can get first-hand information. If you find any amazing martial arts seedlings, you can win over them in advance. Everyone just looked at the picture and talked happily. Recalling their previous martial arts exams, it was a similar scene. Entering the wild for the first time, even though I know that the examination room has been swept by experts, there are many experts secretly protecting me to deal with emergencies at any time. But he still couldn't help being nervous, fearing that a group of strange beasts would suddenly pop out of the dense forest and eat him. Many years have passed, and the nervousness at that time is still very clear now. Hmm, the guy in picture number 1269 performed quite well. He doesn't seem too nervous. He must have had some experience. That's a boy from the Wang family in the west of the city. His name is Wang Sheng. He came third in the liberal arts exam this time and is also a top student. The Wang family in the west of the city, that's not surprising. I must have taken him through it a long time ago. The people who invited guests talked in low voices. Hiss. 10,086 this kid. Suddenly, at this moment, the entire invigilation booth suddenly burst into surprise. Even the three invigilators looked at the 10,086 screen. What a sophisticated way to explore. Su Chani's bright eyes were staring at that picture. In the screen, Yi Feng holds a long knife and makes the best posture to attack at any time. The body sinks slightly to reduce the chance of exposure. Every step you take seems to be measured in advance, and your body will use natural obstacles such as trees, rocks, and bushes to block its own path to the greatest extent possible. With such a sophisticated way of exploring the wild, is this definitely a candidate? Not a warrior who has been practicing in the wild for many years. Su Chanyi was extremely convinced that she would never be able to be so silky without surviving in the wild for a long time. Look at this person's position, the position of the surrounding beasts, and the change in the wind direction. When someone reminds them, others start paying attention to the data. Yi Feng's position can be seen through an aerial camera. This has already been mentioned. The location of the nearby alien beasts is because all the alien beasts in the examination room have been pre-printed with positioning chips, so their movements can be viewed in real time. As for the wind direction, the aerial camera is also responsible for it and has data detection functions such as wind direction, climate, and temperature. This candidate, no matter how he moves, is always in the upper hand of the nearest strange beast. Wind can carry smells, and the sense of smell of exotic animals is often very sensitive. Approaching from the upwind direction of the alien beast will make it difficult for the alien beast to detect it through its sense of smell. This principle is very simple and everyone understands it. 
The problem is, if you want to do this, you need to know clearly where the nearby alien beasts are at this time. This is what surprised them. From the very beginning, Yi Feng seemed to already know the location of the nearby alien beast, so when he approached it, he was always in the upper hand of the alien beast. Is it a coincidence? Everyone thought so. If it wasn't a coincidence that they could determine the location of the strange beast from such a distance, then this candidate would be a bit beyond their knowledge. Everyone looked more seriously, almost focusing most of their attention on Yi Feng's picture. Let's see what kind of performance this candidate can bring. In the examination room, there are dense forests and overgrown weeds. The humidity carries the smell of plants, and from time to time a beast roar can be heard in the distance. Yi Feng was like an old hunter, seemingly casually scanning the surrounding environment and collecting a lot of information. This branch on the ground has very new trampling marks. It should have happened not long ago. Judging from the thickness of the branch, this strange beast is quite big, probably weighing around a thousand kilograms. There is also a footprint over there. The alien beast passed over there. From the footprints, it looks like pig's trotters. Pig's trotters of this size are military-level alien beasts and come from dazzling. Rock-armored stone pig. Based on all kinds of information, Yi Feng directly deduced what kind of strange beast it was. My thoughts are so sharp thanks to the treasure chest I just opened. 1. 10 years of wilderness survival experience, 2. Experience of a thousand life and death fights. They are all good things and have extremely high effects on survival in the wild and life and death fights. At this time, Yi Feng was no longer just a candidate with no field experience, but an old warrior with 10 years of field survival experience and a thousand life and death fights. Being able to perform like that just now is just a matter of basic skills. Yi Feng set off immediately. The people in the proctoring booth saw that the direction Yi Feng was heading towards was the rock armor stone pig. The rock armored stone pig is difficult to deal with. Its defense is extremely high and it is difficult to break through its armor. They were curious about what would happen if Yi Feng and the rock armored stone pig met. As his thoughts floated around, Yi Feng really met the rock armored stone pig. Phew, the rock armored stone pig also discovered Yi Feng and let out a beastly roar. This big guy's body seems to be covered with a layer of rock. Like a tank, it rushed towards Yi Feng with heavy steps. The body looks bulky, but when it actually runs, it's not too slow. Getting closer and closer, but Yi Feng remained unmoved. Why don't you start dodging? You must be scared out of your wits, right? The distance between the two sides is getting closer and closer, and everyone's hearts are in their throats. Danger. Get out of the way. Guard 69, go to this location immediately. Candidate number 10086 is in danger. As an invigilator, in addition to monitoring whether candidates are cheating, you must also pay attention to whether they are in danger. The entire examination room was divided into 100 areas, and 100 guards were placed in each. Once danger is discovered, it will be notified immediately, and the guards in the corresponding area will immediately go to the rescue. Su Chanyi saw Yi Feng motionless and thought he was scared. When candidates face a strange beast for the first time, they are so frightened that their minds go blank and they are dumbfounded and unresponsive. This happens from time to time. Su Chanyi didn't understand why Yi Feng, who had performed well just now, was acting like this now. If you are hit by such a big guy, you will lose half your life even if you don't die. She couldn't allow her to think too much. It would take time for the guards to rush over, so she immediately notified the guards for rescue. But, the words are not finished yet. Yi Feng moved. When the rock-armored stone pig was about to hit Yi Feng, Yi Feng moved sideways and dodged the attack sideways with a very light step. Following the movement of his hand, the long knife was already ready to strike, a seemingly random strike. Tear it apart. The moment he missed his body, the sharp blade severely cut open the main artery of the rock-armored stone pig's neck, and blood spurted out like a fountain. The rock-armored stone pig let out a terrifying howl and rushed forward like crazy, knocking down a big tree before collapsing to the ground. It twitched a few more times and finally stopped moving. Yi Feng shook away the blood from the blade of the blade, put the blade away and stood, looking calm and calm. High defense, difficult to break through armor. Sorry, that's for the same level. It has the strength to crush and break armor easily. Examiner Su, why don't you speak? 
The guards from District 69 asked Su Chanyi suspiciously. Ah, the danger is over. Su Chanyi's tone was stiff. Did he be rescued by others? The guard asked. In his opinion, Su Chanyi can definitely tell whether there is danger. Since it is said that there is danger, it must be there, but now someone else is coming to the rescue. Ah, I misunderstood. In fact, there is no danger. Su Chanyi's answer made the guards in Area 69 stunned for a long time. The entire invigilation booth was also silent at this time. It is unimaginable that there are candidates who can break the armor of a rock-armored stone pig with one knife, hit the vital point directly, and kill with one knife. This candidate is too strong. Quickly, find this candidate's information. Yi Feng, from No. 10 Middle School. It turns out it's him. Yesterday, he was the first in the liberal arts department. I didn't expect that he was so strong in the martial arts department. Is there still a student like this in No. 10 Middle School? I heard that he was originally from No. 1 Middle School. Later, he was expelled by the principal of Number 1 Middle School and then enrolled in No. 10 Middle School. Are you crazy? Are all these students expelled? Who knows, my intestines will probably turn green by now. The discussions between all parties were extremely intense, and they all planned in their hearts that after the martial arts examination was over, they must win over Yi Feng. This situation made Zhao Donghai, who was already looking ugly, so angry that he even vomited blood. Obviously the foundation of martial arts has been damaged. With this mud-legged person's background, it is impossible for him to recover in just a few days. So why is he acting so strong now like a normal person? Zhao Donghai's face looked uncertain and he really couldn't figure it out. Lu Tai, on the other hand, almost smiled crookedly. He is the 10th high school student, and he really found a treasure this time. In the following time, Yi Feng searched for strange beasts everywhere. As long as they come across, they will be killed with one blow. After killing the alien beast, dig out the positioning chip in its body, which contains the alien beast's information, which will be used to calculate points after the exam. When Yi Feng killed the 30th beast, took out the positioning chip and put it into his tactical backpack. The sound of soft footsteps was heard nearby, and five figures soon appeared. Seeing Yi Feng, the five of them were stunned. Immediately, a ferocious smile appeared on his face. Oh, who am I talking about? It turns out to be the college bully, classmate Yi Feng. A strange sound came from the mouth of the long-faced young man. This person's name is, Wang Kai, from No. 1 Middle School, and he is Wang Xing's younger brother. Wang Xing and Yi Feng don't deal with each other. As his biological brother, Wang Kai is naturally not much better than Yi Feng. According to rankings, this person's grades are also good, ranking 6th in the liberal arts exam. When he was in school, Wang Kai often entered the top 10 in various mock tests and was an excellent student in No. 1 Middle School. In this martial arts test, he worked hard to get into the top 3. During the operation in the examination room, I met other people from time to time. If it is from another school, he will attack him and take away the positioning chip, which is equivalent to taking away points. The rules of martial arts examinations do not prohibit fighting with each other, as long as they do not beat people to death or maim them. After all, when you step out of society in the future, you will meet everyone. Some may even be brothers one moment and stab you the next. This is a lesson to the candidates, telling them that they must be on guard against others. During this period, in addition to robbing others, Wang Kai would form a team if he met a fellow student, which was also allowed by the rules. Now the team has grown to five people, all of whom are from No. 1 Middle School. As long as they don't encounter a team with a larger number of people, they are not afraid at all. More people are more powerful, making robbery easier. Sometimes there is no need to take action at all. Seeing that there are so many of them, the other party will directly offer the positioning chip. If you run out of points, you can earn them again. If you resist and get injured, it will mean you have to leave the game. You will get zero points in the martial arts test, you will not be able to get into Pheasant University, and you will not be able to be a security guard. Looking at the way you are staring at me, are you trying to rob me? Yi Feng sneered, not worried at all. There are only five warriors in the martial arts realm. They are not enough to fight against their own martial arts masters. Robbery, you think it's too simple. 
Wang Kai sneered. According to your words, you still want to kill me. Yi Feng pretended to be scared. No, no, don't talk nonsense. The invigilator is watching. Of course, he can't kill you. But it's okay to injure you so that you can't continue the martial arts test, and it's allowed by the rules. How about it, college bully, I'll give you a zero today to try. As Wong Kai said, everyone laughed, very exaggeratedly. Invigilation booth. These candidates from no. One middle school go around robbing other people. Isn't it too shameless? The rules are like this, they just took advantage of the rules. That classmate Yi Feng is really unlucky. With his strength, he will do very well in the martial arts exam. Unfortunately, if he encounters a team of five people, one against five, there is definitely no chance of winning. The various forces watching this scene were discussing with each other. Lu Tai also became nervous, cursing the shameless candidates of no. One middle school, and at the same time hoped that Yi Feng could escape. That's right, get him out of the examination room. Zhao Donghai was excited. King Su Wu, what do you think? The invigilator at the side asked Su Chanyi and wanted to hear her opinion. Su Chanyi thought for a moment and said, If what Yi Feng showed just now is all his strength, he should not be able to defeat the siege of five people. Unless, unless what? Unless he has realm crushing or superb combat skills. After hearing this, the other two examiners were thoughtful. In the examination room, Wang Kai gave an order, and the other four people formed a surrounding situation and moved closer to Yi Feng. There is full confidence in the ferocious face, and he will definitely be able to knock Yi Feng down instantly. Yi Feng, let me show you how powerful I am today. Wang Kai used the splitting knife technique, which is a knife technique taught to students in the school. In the past, he had only comprehended the great achievements, but just now he was fighting with the strange beasts, and this martial skill finally reached perfection. The light of the knife flashed, and with a domineering force, he slashed at Yi Feng with the back of the knife. Even though it was just the back of the knife, its power should not be underestimated. As long as he hit it, he was confident that Yi Feng would lose his combat effectiveness in an instant. The other four people also used moves to attack Yi Feng. When the five people's attacks were about to hit Yi Feng, Yi Feng raised the corner of his mouth and suddenly moved. With a few steps back and forth, their attacks barely passed by and failed. How is that possible? The five people exclaimed in unison, and they couldn't even figure out how Yi Feng did it. The exclamation has not stopped yet. Not good. The five people felt a strong killing intent coming over them, and fear shot from the soles of their feet to their foreheads. At that moment, they felt like they were falling into an ice cave and felt like they were going to die. Bang 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 bang. The knife in Yi Feng's hand was full of killing intent. Several crisp attacks, also using the back of the knife, fell on the five people. Ah, five screams sounded at the right time, and the five people flew away. Puff. They all spat out a mouthful of blood, and their faces suddenly turned pale. The force of the attack was just right, only injuring them, not killing or maiming them, which was in line with the rules. The key is to injure the person with one blow, not to knock him down first and then go over to make up for the damage. No one will say anything. On the contrary, I felt that their skills were inferior to others. Five of them robbed one person, and Yi Feng even beat him back. You how are you so strong? Wang Kai was shocked and angry, with deep fear deep in his eyes. The Yi Feng in his impression was far from as powerful as he was now. If it were in the past, Yi Feng would definitely be defeated without any suspense. But now that the five of them joined forces, they were unable to defeat Yi Feng and were defeated by one move. The feeling just now, was terrible. Several people avoided looking at Yi Feng. They have reason to believe that if it was a life and death fight, there would already be five corpses. Invigilation booth. Too strong. These people in number one are not weak in strength, but they have no power to resist in front of Yi Feng. This candidate Yi Feng has definitely reached the martial arts master level. People from all parties were all extremely surprised. All of them, intentionally or unintentionally, turned their attention to Zhao Donghai. Zhao Donghai clenched his fists tightly, like a powder keg that was about to explode, but could not explode, making him miserable. This candidate is really not easy. He has reached the martial arts master level in the college entrance examination, and his future achievements will be limitless. 
The examiner on the left exclaimed. They were not at the scene and could only judge their strength through the battle scenes. It would be much easier if you were on the scene. As long as you fight, you must mobilize your chi and blood. Then it will be very accurate to judge the level of the warrior through the strength of chi and blood. There is no need to speculate through the battle scenes like now. However, Su Chanyi's words made everyone present fall into silence. He may have reached the martial master level, but in the battle just now, he probably didn't use the martial master level strength. He still only used the martial arts master level. After a long period of silence, someone finally exclaimed. What, only use the strength of the warrior realm? How is it possible? We are both in the martial arts realm, how can we fight against five of them? And they are so fierce. Everyone found it difficult to understand. Because, he used killing techniques. Su Chani's explanation made everyone even more confused. What kind of killing technique? This is a kind of fighting technique. Every blow must be fast, accurate and hard. It takes years of fighting and being on the edge of life and death many times to sum up similar fighting techniques. When Su Chani said this, even she didn't believe it. She is a majestic martial arts king who has been in and out of various secret realms many times and experienced various life and death battles before she could master this technique. But where did Yi Feng, an examinee, get so much life and death experience? Did I see it wrong? Su Chanyi would rather believe that she just misunderstood, otherwise it would be too unbelievable. In the examination room, Wang Kai and the other five were still groaning in pain on the ground, unable to get up. Yi Feng poured out all the chips in their backpacks, put them into his own backpack, and left. Shortly after Yi Feng left, a security guard in charge of the area came and took the five people away from the examination room. The five of them were heartbroken. After suffering such a degree of injury, they really could not continue the martial arts test, which also meant a zero score in the martial arts test. My Longtang Academy, Wong Kai's heart was bleeding. According to normal development, he will definitely be admitted to Longtang Academy. But now, it's gone, everything is gone. Yi Feng. They hated Yi Feng so much that they could not do anything about it. Yi Feng sighed, keep exploring in a certain direction. When encountering a strange beast, kill it instantly with one strike. And if you meet someone from No. 1 Middle School, I'm sorry, anyone who has a conflict with Yi Feng will get a zero score from them. Gradually, for some reason, the news spread, saying that Yi Feng was targeting the students of No. 1 Middle School, beating them until they vomited blood and were sent directly out of the examination room. For a time, the crowd in No. One middle school was furious, and they were all clamoring to settle the score with Yi Feng. But after saying this, they felt quite guilty. What if they couldn't beat him? Therefore, they all intended to form a team, and those who originally liked to travel alone began to look for teammates. District 73. Two people from number one were moving together and suddenly bumped into Yi Feng. Yi Feng. Their faces suddenly turned pale. Oh, is it Chen Xin? Yi Feng said a friendly hello to one of them. Chen Xin used to have a good relationship with Yi Feng. He was also one of the few people who spoke out to persuade Yi Feng when everyone in the liberal arts examination hall yesterday said something bad to him. You won't hit me, Chen Xin confirmed cautiously. Well done, why should I hit you? Yi Feng said with a smile. Thank you, Chen Xin thanked him gratefully. There was a teammate beside Chen Xin who also opened his mouth and wanted to say thank you. Bang! Before the words could be spoken, Yi Feng's swift fist hit the man's abdomen directly. Then, he vomited blood and flew backwards. You! He felt unbelievable. Didn't he say he wouldn't hit anyone? Ha ha, I said I won't hit him, but I didn't say I won't hit you. Yi Feng joked. Yesterday, this kid had a lot of bad words to say. Under Chen Xin's stunned eyes, Yi Feng took the chip from the man's backpack and left gracefully. Soon, this person was also taken away from the examination room. Five minutes later, Yi Feng met another team and solved them quickly. As time goes by, the number of teams encountered increases. But it was useless. At most, Yi Feng faced more than a dozen people at the same time and defeated them all. The number of people cleared has exceeded three digits and is still rising. Zhao Donghai's face turned green with anger. Protest. I protest. This Yi Feng, relying on his strength, beats the candidates of my number. 
One middle school everywhere. It is clear that he has trouble with my number. One middle school. Zhao Donghai yelled at the invigilator. If Yi Feng continues like this, how many candidates will he have left and no? One middle school. The protest is invalid. This is in line with the rules of the martial arts examination. Su Chanyi refused directly. Besides, you still have the nerve to protest. We are all candidates, and when up to a dozen people fight against one person, they all get beaten back. You still have the nerve to say it. As time goes by, the number continues to grow. 200 people, 300 people. Are you just watching like this? When he can't find candidates from our school, he will definitely look for candidates from your school. You should understand the truth of life and death. Now we must unite to protest, expel this Yifang from the examination room, and return candidates to our school. We have a fair environment. Zhao Donghai knew that he alone could not persuade the invigilator, so he had no choice but to persuade other principals. Of course, Lu Tai, the principal of No. 10 Middle School, is excluded. This, protesting is useless, right? Yes, yes, it's all allowed by the rules. There's no point in protesting. The other principals were hesitant and dealt with Zhao Donghai casually. Wouldn't it be funny to let them protest? It's not too late for them to be happy. The biggest competitor is no. One middle school. Now, Yi Feng has almost wiped out all the masters from no. One middle school. Those who were originally not in the top 100, won't the opportunity come? The martial arts exam continues. Somewhere in area 83. Hachi. Hachi. He Ziling held a long sword in a defensive posture, his chest heaving, breathing heavily, sweat dripping from his forehead, sliding down his cheeks, and finally dripping with dirt. Mean, He Ziling gritted her silver teeth and glared at the surroundings. Seven people surrounded her. These seven people are not weak in strength. They are all top-notch students in no. One middle school. The leader of the team is none other than Wang Sheng, who ranks third in liberal arts. There is not much time left before the martial arts test is over. Being robbed at this time, no matter whether you need to leave the game or not, is the same as getting zero marks on the test. But she must enter Longtang Academy, not just because it has the best teaching resources. Also because, He Ziling touched the scar on her right cheek. I heard that that scumbag entered Longtang Academy by recommendation as early as two years ago. You ugly monster, you are really stubborn. If you don't take the initiative to hand over the chip, we won't be polite. It's none of our business where you get hurt. Wang Xing humiliated He Ziling. In fact, with He Ziling's appearance, even if there are scars on her face, she is not ugly at all. The main reason was that even though He Ziling couldn't defeat them, he still resisted with all his life, which made them very angry and humiliated them. If you want a chip, step over my body, He Ziling said coldly showing the momentum of fighting to the end. The seven Wang Xing people were all at a loss. Suddenly, He Ziling's face changed. Why did I get sick again at this time? At this time, He Ziling suddenly felt a surge of cold air in her body, stronger than ever before, and her body could not help but shiver. It was so cold that the cold air penetrated from the surface of the body, and beautiful blue ice crystals formed on the eyebrows and hair. What's wrong with her? The seven people around were a little frightened and instinctively took a few steps back. I don't know, it just happened suddenly, as if I was frozen by the cold. It's not our fault anyway, it's none of our business. What now? Ignore her, someone will take care of it, let's go. Seven people made the decision. Before leaving, Wang Xing had an idea. Anyway, you can't move now. If you don't take the chip, you won't get it for free. Wang Xing turned around and was about to grab He Ziling's backpack. However, I just reached out and pulled it. Call out. A stone came through the air quickly and accurately hit Wang Xing's palm. The powerful force caused the hard stones to explode instantly and turn into dust. As Wang Xing screamed like a slaughtering pig, the bones of his palms were also crushed and fractured, and they were unable to hang down. The other six people who were about to leave were all stopped by this unexpected situation. They looked towards the direction where the pebbles were flying. In the shadow of the dense forest, a figure with a straight back walked out. Seven grown men bullied a woman and then took advantage of her. When she couldn't touch her, they wanted to take the chip. How shameless! Following Lang Ran's voice, Yi Feng's figure appeared in front of everyone. It's you, 
Yi Fang, several people exclaimed, Despicable, you still play sneak attack. Wang Xing covered his right hand, endured the pain, and said angrily, We were looking for you, but we didn't expect you to come to our door. The other six people glanced at each other. Superior. The six people rushed towards Yi Fang. Wang Xing could only cheer verbally, and he temporarily lost his combat effectiveness. However, when the six people rushed in front of Yi Fang with great momentum, they used their own moves to attack Yi Fang. However, it was easily disintegrated by Yi Fang with a few swords. The long knife flipped over a few more times, and the blade struck the six people hard. Six figures were immediately shot away, lying on the ground wailing. What kind of sneak attack? Make it look like a head-on attack, but you guys can beat me. Yi Feng sneered. Among the seven, Wang Xing was the only one who was not lying on the ground, but he was actually the most seriously injured, with a comminuted fracture and required long-term treatment. According to the rules, the attack was too severe. Yi Feng had already thought of his words. The situation was urgent and he didn't think too much about it. In the eyes of the seven people who were shocked and angry, they took all their chips as their own. It's full and about to overflow. Too many people have been robbed. Even if the chip is small and the backpack has a large capacity, the backpack is about to burst. Yi Feng focused on He Ziling. Weird thing. At this time, He Ziling's body was covered with ice, and his whole body was completely wrapped in ice. If she hadn't closed her eyes tightly, frowned slightly, and her long eyelashes trembled from time to time, she would have mistakenly thought she was freezing to death. As long as he was alive, he didn't know what happened, so Yi Feng could only watch. Um, Yi Feng suddenly turned his head and looked somewhere in the dense forest. After a while, the guards in the area appeared from there. It is estimated that the invigilator saw what was going on here and sent guards over. This kid, did you discover me in advance just now? The guard was secretly surprised and looked at Yi Feng a few more times. However, now was not the time to think about this. He looked at He Ziling and observed the situation. The micro-communicator in his ear kept communicating with Su Chani. Don't worry, examiner Su said that she should be awakening to some kind of ice physique. Looking at this movement, I guess the level is not low. The guard said to Yi Feng. Yi Feng's eyes lit up. I didn't expect that the few examples mentioned in books would be seen with my own eyes today. I once heard that talents or physical constitutions are inherent in nature and cannot be acquired. Unless, for some reason, it does not appear early, then it will be awakened by chance. Such examples are very rare and can almost be ignored. I never expected that it would happen to He Ziling. Yi Feng remembered that when he entered the examination room, He Ziling said that the body had an inexplicable chill, which was an old problem since childhood. It turned out that it was not a strange disease, but a physical problem. There's something going on. The ice on He Ziling's body melted quickly and turned into energy, which was absorbed into her body. Her eyes slowly opened, and a faint blue flashed from her pupils. Your scar. Yi Feng looked at the right side of He Ziling's face in surprise. What happened to the scar? He Ziling was confused and subconsciously touched it with his hand. Immediately, his eyes widened and the scar disappeared. At this time, it's time for the martial arts exam. All candidates are asked to leave the examination room immediately. After receiving the notice that the martial arts test time was up, all the candidates stopped hunting exotic beasts and walked out of the examination room. Yi Feng, thank you just now. He Ziling sincerely thanked Yi Feng. She knew that when she awakened her physique, it was Yi Feng who appeared in time and prevented Wang Xing from taking away her chip. Otherwise, even if it is a great joy to awaken one's physique, it would be a great pity that if the chip is gone and the points are zero, one cannot enter Longtang Academy. It's a small matter, it takes a little effort. Yi Feng waved his hand carelessly. Then he asked, By the way, what physique did you awaken? The scar on her right face has indeed disappeared without a trace, and the skin all over her body has become delicate and smooth, making her already outstanding appearance even more beautiful. The cold aura that is invisibly exuding makes this beauty even more beautiful. No trace of blasphemy. Being stared at so closely by Yi Feng, He Ziling blushed. Ahem, she coughed slightly to relieve the strange look on her face. What I awakened is the Zan Bing Han body. She replied. Xuanbing cold body. Yi Feng was surprised, that was an S-level physique. Among the candidates in this class, 
apart from a loser like Yi Fang, no one else has an S-level physique, and the highest is only A-level. It can be seen that S-level physique is already extremely rare. Congratulations! Yi Fang congratulated, He Ziling smiled happily, and she was also quite surprised. When the two came outside, they immediately attracted a lot of attention. Whether it is Yi Fang's performance in the examination room or He Ziling's image and temperament that have undergone earth-shaking changes, it is enough to attract people's attention. Whoosh! Su Chanyi ducked out of the way and came to Yi Fang and the others. I didn't expect that in this martial arts test, you two would be able to produce good talents. As if staring at a treasure, Su Chanyi glanced back and forth between Yi Fang and He Ziling. Needless to say, Yi Fang's performance shocked the audience every time he made a move. As for He Ziling, his performance at the beginning could only be regarded as excellent. However, as he awakened his S-level physique, the situation changed. He was a true martial arts genius who was well worth cultivating. What a great opportunity! Yi Fang looked at Su Chanyi who was close at hand, and saw the blue treasure box in her lower abdomen. If you touch its abdomen, does it count as touching the treasure chest and opening it? Just give it a try. But the question is, how to try it? Is it like this? Examiner Su, your waist is so thin, let me touch it. If you really do this, if you touch someone's lower abdomen casually without being intimate, you're probably going to be beaten to death on the spot by this female martial arts king. Even if it is a male examiner, casually touching someone's lower abdomen without a reasonable reason is still life-threatening. Yes, Yi Feng had an idea and had an idea. I've met examiner Su. Yi Feng clasped his fists with both hands, put them on his head, bowed down, and made a big salute. The range of his movements was very exaggerated. No one expected such an unexpected gift, and they all looked at Yi Feng in astonishment. People with more realistic ideas thought that Yi Feng was trying to curry favor with Su Chanyi. Indeed, if such a strong person can be cured of, it will be of great help to his practice. Su Chanyi also didn't expect that Yi Feng would do this. The distance between the two parties was very close, and with Yi Feng's movements, his fisted hands happened to touch Su Chanyi's lower abdomen. With just a slight touch, Su Chanyi immediately retreated instinctively and distanced herself. Classmate Yi Feng, there is no need to give this big gift. Su Chanyi didn't doubt him, she just thought it was Yi Feng who was more polite. Yes, Yi Feng stood up. It feels so nice. Yi Feng recalled the previous contact. After getting up, he saw that blue light still existed in Su Chanyi's abdomen. I couldn't help but sigh secretly. It seems that just contact cannot open the treasure chest. How to open it? Could it be that you want to kill her? A bloody picture emerged in Yi Feng's mind. Forget it, there should be other ways, let's think about it slowly. Yi Feng swept away the messy thoughts. Next, presided over by three examiners, the staff began to count the chips and calculate the candidates' points. When the scores were announced, there was a commotion. Wang Sheng, zero points. Wang Kai, zero points. Zhang Shilong, zero points. Quote dot 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 quote. More than 500 students from No. One middle school got zero points in the test. Careful people also noticed that those who got zero points in the test were often the top ones in No. One middle school. For example, the two brothers Wang Xing and Wang Kai are both in the top 10 ranks. Normally, entering Longtang Academy is a sure thing. But now, they all have a big duck egg in the exam. No matter how good you are in liberal arts and how high your ranking is, if you are so average in martial arts, the best you can do is get into Pheasant University. Only now did the candidates know that Yi Feng knocked so many candidates out of the examination room. Everyone looked at Yi Feng in the distance with different eyes, including anger, awe, and gratitude. People who are grateful to Yi Feng are usually those who have risen in rank and been admitted to the university of their choice. After all, if Yi Feng hadn't made so many top students from No. 1 middle school score zero, their rankings wouldn't be so high and they wouldn't be able to meet the admission requirements of those universities. Now, announce the top three results of this martial arts exam. The top 100 rankings are calculated from low to high, and now the top three are announced. Third place, Yu Guang, 95 points, from No. 2 High School. Second place, He Ziling, 102 points, from No. 10 High School. First place, Yi Feng, 
32,700 points, from 10th high school. As soon as Yi Feng's score was announced, the entire audience was silent. Judging from the scores of previous martial arts examinations, even the first place is still hovering around 100%. Results like Yi Ziling's are within the normal range. But Yi Feng has more than 30,000 points. Looking at the previous martial arts examinations, this score is also quite explosive and unique. Think about it, it's not one person's points at all, but the sum of hundreds of people. In addition, Yi Feng is very powerful and has hunted many strange beasts. It is normal to score more than 30,000 points. Suddenly, countless media cheered and surrounded Yi Feng. Classmate Yi Feng, how do you usually practice? You are so much better than other candidates. How do you feel about winning first place? It is rumored that you were a student of No. 1 middle school before you were expelled and then joined No. 10 middle school. Do you have anything to say about this? As for you being in the examination room, targeting the candidates of No. 1 middle school, is it related to being expelled? These media people are all people who don't take things too seriously and ask questions no matter how sharp they are. Ahem. I usually practice normally, nothing special. For winning first place, I want to thank No. 10 middle school. They were willing to take me in and gave me the opportunity to take the college entrance examination. I was indeed expelled from No. 1 middle school. The reason given was that I cheated. But in fact, during the battle of Sea Beast, I was injured and had to fight hard to achieve the results. However, the principal, Zhao Donghai, gave the results to his nephew Zhao Ming. My protest was ineffective, and he got an additional penalty and was expelled from the school. As for the behavior in the examination room, I can only say it was a coincidence. I kept bumping into candidates from No. 1 middle school and accidentally got into conflicts. This is in line with the rules and there is nothing to say. Facing many media, Yi Feng cleared his throat and talked a lot, exposing all the bad things about Zhao Donghai. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.